The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Let's tidy up this tangle of film by putting it on a reel. Here is a motion picture film. A thousand feet. Sixteen thousand separate photographs. Welcome everybody. Hey everybody, I'm Michael. I'm Charles. And I'm Jimmy. And we're your real debaters this week, listener. Welcome to where the art of cinema meets the power of debate. Your favorite fucking local cinephiles. Uh, this week on the show, uh, we are doing what we love to do when we haven't prepared well, which is a bracket. A bracket. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, good old bracket. <laughs> Fuck, it's, you know, the algorithms love brackets. They do. Oh, they do. boy, they, they do. want people do. to rank and rate things, and we're going to jump on the bandwagon. Exactly. <laughs> Hashtag rank it. So uh, the the bracket is brought to you by one Jimmy Skinner this week. Jimmy, tell them hey. what, what, what they're about to hear. We're going to do uh, the best character actor debate, and as we found out on this movie podcast, uh, half of us don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> really want to release that chat room. I've never heard that. that. That conversation. A character actor is not an actor who does character. That is called acting, Martin and Charles. That is that is what that what is. What about docs? <laughs> Samuel Jackson is not a character actor. He is not. Jim Carrey is not, not a, a character He plays actor. characters, but he is not a character actor. What about DDL? Uh, <laughs> he was Lincoln, damn it. I in, mean, in Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a, a character. character. <laughs> if you go from that one David Arquette movie. That's Ready true. to rumble. rumble. Ready yeah. to rumble. Oh, yeah. Wow, one oh, of yeah. you owe each other. <laughs> love it. Love Holy it. shit, you I were in love that there. movie, man. Yeah, no, that was the best part about planning for this episode, listener, was, yeah, when I said, hey, we're going to do character actors, Martin was like, the guy from the guy. And I'm like, no, not <laughs> no. characters. We're yeah. doing character actors. And the best way that Jimmy explained it so we all knew what the fuck yeah. we were talking about was, you go, who's that guy? Who's that woman? Right? Who is? Oh, I've in- seen them in a bunch of things. I have, no idea, what, I have no idea their name, but I know this character. It's right? the favorite blah, blah, blah. game that you play with your significant other at home. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't despise Other than hide better. the pickle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who <like> is that? <laughs> And whose who's pickle is that? Pickle <laughs> That's my favorite game, where we look at famous penises and figure out- It was a cucumber. <laughs> The whole time? That's a gherkin. Uh, uh, no. Gherkin. So that's what we're doing. We're going to do That's six- the easiest way to think about that. It yeah. is. It is. And we're doing 16 of- <laughs> So if uh, they won an Oscar, <laughs> they, they don't count, I actually. Think if it's a Best Supporting Actor, sure. it does count. Right. Well, right. I, am Not I an believe. MTV Best Character Award. Well, I'm going to- Best gonna, Kiss. The, <laughs> that the does link, not count. If the, they've had Best Kiss- <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> the link that we no pulled Toby. from uh, is a Vulture link, and they actually had three requirements in the top before you get into yeah, the list. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah Of, yeah. like, if they'd won an Oscar, they don't count. Uh, if but they, I think that's outrageous. Like, de- de- defining how many lines they have in a movie. All, I'm like, yeah. that's we're getting in the weeds. That's too far. Yeah. 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 It's mean, nice that there's criteria, but we won't be following that. So we so will not be. It's exactly. very mean. It is, yeah. right? It does eliminate <laughs> people. You know, but we are. <laughs> we will use awards as a as a indicator. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, Spirit specific award. work that you've seen <laughs> them in. Saturn maybe. Award. <laughs> <laughs> An SB. I was just yeah. <laughs> How? How, right? Totally. Right? Maybe LeBron James might be the only one who qualifies. For John Denver. Cena. John Cena, too. Oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. John Cena's not a character. Maybe we should do best I actor who also won him. an SB. <laughs> Before we before we dive into the listener, we want to talk about us for a second. So, Charles, yeah. uh, anything happening in the world of gasms of nerds? Um... Yeah, uh, I mean, the news has been out for a bit, Yeah, <laughs> which is great. Uh, I'm doing a review of uh, Astrobot, so that's going to be the next nice, big episode nice. on the Nerdgasm. The Nerd plays Astrobot. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Actually, Claudia and I have been playing it together, which has been a lot of fun. We don't get to do that with a lot of games. So yeah. Is that um, because of you, or is that because of her? It's She gets really dizzy from like okay. games okay. where okay. one okay. controller is the camera and one... So something uh, like Astrobot is great, you know what I mean, like Mario style. She wants one dimensional she, yeah. screen, baby. She crushes it though, like she's yeah, sure. great. No, no, no I, get it, I get it. it. I get it. You guys um, should try Cult of the Lamb. Have you seen ooh, that one? I don't know. It sounds lambs, like a horror movie. You start a cult and you, it's you, you, you build your cult up from nothing. Is is the mic on, Mike? I uh, yeah, it's on. What happened there? Funny. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, that sounds neat. It's a good game and there's, it's two player. There's one like Little Nightmares, I think. That yeah, we've heard of that too. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, she's like, we did It Takes Two, which was awesome. That yeah. was a really, really good one. We're, we're playing yeah. the uh, Nickelodeon Mario Kart ripoff. Oh, yeah, game we, yeah. That we that. played that. Yeah, 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 we played that. That was a lot actually of that. pretty fun. Dude, that yeah. level that we played was the slow version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, the slow version of Nickelodeon Race Car is the fast version of Mario. Who's your oh, main? I love it. Who do you, I, who do you main? I lean on, um, yeah. oh, what's his face, who did the, the comic book writer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Laird. Is it Laird? He's in the oh. game? No, 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 but his his <laughs> Raphael oh, yes. is yeah, a yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Laird, or well, I, maybe I'm confused. Are you a Raphael, surfing. Michael? I'm more of a Michelangelo, if we're going to be honest, oh. right? Yeah, yeah, I can I see that. I, I'm, I'm not the leader. I'm not the tech. I'm not the angry, but I am the fun. Yeah. I bring yeah, the f- yeah, I bring yeah, the fun yeah. and the nunchucks. But, uh, Michelangelo is always my fave. Yeah, okay, cool. So you're playing cool. a game with Claudia. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. So yeah, Astrobot's a lot of fun. So we're doing. I'm going to be doing a review. You on say that. Astrobot, uh, and I want him to be Astro Boy. Like that's what yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. They know what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> it's basically PlayStation's Mario, and it's awesome. Sweet. It's, Sweet. There's a lot of deep cuts into the PlayStation lore, which I didn't expect, and it's really awesome. Oh. Um, yeah. So YouTube.com/slash CF Bomb. You can see all the Nerdgasm episodes now, and you can see that one as soon as it's streaming. Um, but yeah. Just staying alive, staying nerdy. <laughs> you can also see that in the show notes, too, because we put all our plugs there for you. So, listening. yeah, just skip to that. This is how you <laughs> see what Charles looks like instead of just hearing oh, yeah. the, the, the sultriness You're that welcome. comes from the corner. That's right. Jimmy, what's going on at the daughter? Oh, you know, we got comedy every Thursday, whether it's open mic or indigenous open mic, queer open mic or booked shows. We got something going. We're going to have a book show on the 24th hosted by Carson Koscheck. Ooh. In October, um, and then we'll have something fun for Halloween this year. That'll be great. Yes. Yeah. So How I did think the uh, Halloween's on the thirty first? Are you thinking on Halloween? Halloween's on the thirty first. It's on the Thursday, <laughs> I think. It or is. On, it, no, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, I'm pretty That's sure. That's a, a weird Tuesday. day for I'm Halloween. I'm gonna check. I'm pretty sure. It's I'm a gonna Tuesday? check right now. Or maybe I'm, I'm crazy. No, I'm, I'm probably, checking. Maybe. It yeah, is no, on I, Thursday. It yeah. is on a Thursday. Yeah, Sorry, it's on the I'm other tea day. Yeah, I'm so drunk. So you know, we'll have something fun for Halloween at the daughter if you come by. Maybe you'll wear a costume. Maybe you win a prize. Who knows. Did stand up as the character. That's right. Okay, How did Hot cool. Pepper Night go? Hot Pepper Night was great. What did you do this year? Didn't fill the crowd. I didn't do anything for that fucking. Oh, show. Yeah. I'm not gonna eat any of that. I'm not <laughs> yeah. doing that anymore. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that was a bad time. I'm not. I'm never doing that again. Yeah, it is it permanently. Was bad, eh? it, it well, it permanently fucked you like fucked four hours stomach. later. Right? No, it permanently fucked up my stomach. Really? Yeah. yeah no, I, I uh, had never had horrible heartburn in my life, and now I get just the absolute worst all night, every single night. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, it's just a nightmare. You opened Damn. up Pandora's asshole. Yeah. What did you have? Was it a phantom? No, it was a reaper. Oh. And now my stomach is just from the great state of Carolina. Mm. Ripped I don't know apart. If it's north or south. I had yeah. Like I don't know if I ever want to actually eat. Don't do it. The no, pepper? it's not worth it. Don't. Not you don't, the pepper. Don't have maybe the sauce. Don't like eat the, the pepper. Hot sauce don't. Or something. Don't feel like you need to prove anything to anybody. Yeah. It's just. I had the hot ones, like the what is it, the last dab? The, yeah. I had yeah. that, and I did it the way they did it, and that fucked me up. It's hot. Nowhere to what you did, like no, but it's like hot. for a good like the whole afternoon I was fucked. But yeah, like it just ruins that, your life. Yeah, no, I, it turns out that. it could permanently fuck up. I had a ghost, pe- <laughs> yeah, I had a ghost pepper hot sauce once, and Shauna kissed me after, and it was just as bad for her. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> it just reminds Fuck in me Florida. that episode of Simpsons when he has the chili and he That's does right. it. That oh, it always oh, scares me. Shit. Those I don't know that peppers. episode. It hurt. It wasn't allowed. <laughs> I wasn't so loud. <laughs> and us uh, listeners, stay tuned for the Comic Con reveal, the 2024 Winnipeg Comic Con panel that we will be doing. It will be some sort of uh, mono a mono. We like the we like the debate team style. I think that we did last year where we did Marvel versus DC. Where, oh yeah, where yeah, like yeah, one fun. of us moderates and then it's a three on three. And it's, the audience gets into it. They do. Yeah, they do. They got into it a lot last year. That yeah. was what was a lot of fun. Is they were really into it. So, so if you if you've never been to one of our panels, we do rely a lot on the audience members to uh, submit what you're thinking for uh, the last round of a debate that we're doing this year. So uh, you will be in charge of picking who the winner is. You will be in charge of picking the last round fight. A lot of responsibility. A lot of responsibility. Yeah. So Fatality. it'll be, if you've ever seen Whose Line Is It Anyway, it, may be that, it might be that funny, but it'll definitely be that format. And some of the points matter. <laughs> yeah, some of the points do actually <laughs> matter in this. And there's usually a gift. There's there a cool is. little contest yeah. we have for you guys. Mark, what did we have the last couple of years? We had we had a com- we we give away a comic book. Comic That's Mark, right. Yeah, yeah, Mark yeah. Gave courtesy away of uh, String Bean. String right? Bean Comics. Yep. Yeah, Mark and Mark last and one was Crow. the Marvel versus DC. Comic. And these aren't like nothing against marketing, but these aren't like the comic books that you get in a cereal box that are They're like not. these are big deal. These are comics. really yes. good special edition comics. Yes, that are like that's right. Yeah, like you a twenty thirty dollar comic. Oh yeah. Like oh, yeah. it's not a quality it, it's, shit. It's not. Yeah. It's not something you'd find on the back of your toilet. 
named Archie. Right? And yeah, I, yeah, found, yeah. I found yeah. a whole bunch of our buttons and business cards, so you'll be going home with those. <laughs> Sweet! That's great. That's great. We've been looking for a new vendor. I'm That's glad right. we don't. Yeah. So we got, we got, I we got, got a whole bunch, and Whoa. boy, are they rusty. We'll be oh, handed shit out. <laughs> uh, so that's the last uh, weekend of October, October 27th, 28th, 29th. Something yeah. like that. I think, yeah, because it's the weekend before the Thursday yeah. of Halloween. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it's a good setter. Yeah, you'll be you'll know as soon as we know that you should make your plans to be at that panel and yeah. hang out with us and uh, skip whatever really important signing or cool meet and greet is going on. We're a lot more fun yes. than you know any of those. And who knows? Uh, maybe a celebrity yeah. will drop by. Who yeah. Knows? Who knows? <laughs> Summer. Glau, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Summer Glau is a big listener right here. Really that could be fun. Oh yeah, I'm Don't putting it out so. there. I'm putting it out there. You're just making it up, and hopefully <laughs> that's just yeah. a lie. Yeah. If she <laughs> wants to learn a little bit about Winnipeg before she gets here, mm-hmm. she should listen to the Real Debaters podcast. We don't. <laughs> that's very true. All right, so uh, that's that's it for <laughs> for us. That's our shameless promotion period of the show, listener. Uh, so let's step off this mortal coil. And Charles, it's been a minute for you. What did you watch this week? Um. Yeah, I've been catching up on some stuff. I was telling you guys. Uh, what I saw that impressed me the most, I will say, was uh, we watched the first two episodes of Agatha all along. Okay, go on. I'm glad that you guys have to be punished and burdened with that. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys have to watch these fucking Marvel TV shows that'll just never stop coming out. Enjoy. Enjoy never having a break again, jerks. It- <laughs> He's not wrong. Oh, man. I can't. I can't say That's he's not awesome. wrong. Uh, <laughs> like, how is I, it? Because it so looks. So I'll be honest with you. Even I saw the first trailer and I was like, okay, cool. But I kind of just forgot about it. And I, I didn't totally really... did too. And Marvel smart. Jarvis didn't. <laughs> Marvel smart. They did. Like for us, September is like pre-Halloween. We start getting into it. Really? And in October, we just go hard Agreed. into Halloween sure. stuff. Okay. Yeah. So the way October is your on ramp. There's build up. The way they did the last marketing thing was start the spooky season, and then it was like again they're focusing on the witches, which is cool. Yes. Uh-huh. And something we haven't seen enough of in March. I like a good coven. Um. So and you know what did it was the day before, uh, the episodes came out. They showed on the premiere Adam Scott and Amy Poehler showed up to the red carpet. And then they had them all go with Aubrey Plaza. So it was right. like a mini, mini little Parks, Parks and, and Rec. Mo- yeah, yeah, yeah. And seeing Catherine on and Aubrey Plaza together and knowing that they're in it together, I was like, fuck. Like, that really sold That me. really turns it up. So we got, Jimmy, that's why we do this. It was also Claudia. Claudia was like, <laughs> let's watch it. I was like, I was like, okay, cool. So we watched it. First episode is fantastic. Like, it's so... I hear they say it's hard one division. Yeah, so what's neat what about happening? it is they... Back to the first awesome uh, show that Marvel did, basically. They're yeah. Going, they're going back to the, the town, even, I think they're in. So, just like WandaVision started, it starts right away where they're in a sitcom, and you're like, oh. Agatha all along starts right away as True Detective Season 1. Shalarian. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. So, it's True Detective Season 1. She even has some of the dialogue right. Oh, and it's 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 True Detective Season 1 and the one that Kate Winslet was just in. Oh, oh she plays uh, like Mayor of Easttown? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pull. So Thank it's you. that. It's that and True Detective season one. And they're going for it. Like they're purposely wanting you to be like, what is, is this true detective? Yeah. And then the even when the credits go, it's not Catherine Hahn. It's like Agatha as detective. <laughs> and you're like, but it's like the exact. Oh, so it's character it's credits. How you oh, yeah. See the credits. And it's yeah. the exact cinematography of true detective. It's gritty. Okay. It's raw. So. And uh, you, do you can... just have Paul Bettany in a cage in here. <laughs> I do, I do. You can tell that they're he's my AI. Also banking off of Paul De- Bettany, not Jarvis. I see. Sorry, go on. <laughs> they're banking off of Deadpool and Wolverine. There are really? some things in it that I'm like, oh, this isn't for kids. Like this isn't okay. There was a little okay. bit of nudity, and I was like, huh? Do you see man ass? Disney? No. Oh. You see hon ass? Oh. And like funny, like hilarious. Oh. Okay. I've when seen. It, I saw her bum in I love you, Dick. So, so she I mean, gets I, out of the I, spell. I, like you know, in Wandavision, you find out like everyone's in a fucking spell essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. When she gets out, she's butt naked. And she's so pissed that Wanda put her in the spell. She walks across a real neighborhood. So it turns out it's a real neighborhood. And she's just been in a house just, like, vibing, thinking she's in another, like, yeah, 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 sitcom. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. She walks across the neighborhood, and the neighbor's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And it's Catherine <laughs> on being Catherine on. She's like, hey. And his hands are covering her chest and like this. So they're framing it like that. And he's like, are you okay? She's like, no. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? What is this? And he's like what are you talking about? And she's like, where am I? And then he tells her and she's like, 
fuck sakes turns around walks all the way back and it's the same shot and then obviously like her whole like ass <laughs> comes into view and whatnot and then it just gets to the neighbor and he's like what is going on and he's like so scared so it's like it's cool and then also aubrey is just on another level she shows up as the villain but the without holding me. anything back and it's like and now there's bumblings that she might be mephisto which was oh my god! Good god, that. man! Don't even talk to me about that rumor. Well, no, I'm not ready. I'm not, right? I know. I know. Yeah, but again, everybody's. I don't think, I don't think she is. But that's the idea. That's the whole point. Is that that's his thing? If you actually read up on Mephisto, is that everyone has a different lore legend of him because that's part of it. Is it's just like. He wants people to know he exists, but nobody really knows which one yeah, is it's, right. It's, like it's, Kaiser it's, Soze. It's, or like Joker. It's the greatest. Like you never really know what Joker's actual story is about the scars. On it's his the face, greatest right? con, like Nolan's con of all of all time. Right, right, right. right, like, right. And that's part of his thing, right? It's like Banks. So I don't think she is, but whatever she is, her dynamic already with Catherine Hahn is my favorite rivalry I've seen in Marvel in a while. Okay. It is awesome. And the funniest thing is they both hate Wanda. That's the only thing they like vibe with. Well, that would, I mean, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Yes. Is and Wanda f- dead? What happened at the end of Multiverse? Wanda. So yeah, I think they're I can't also remember. confirming. That I remember the, the castle cracked and she was inside of it captured, but you don't see her die. So right. I don't what's think the rule. I mean, what's the rule? If I you don't see him die, they're did. still alive. Well, exactly. and what Agatha's at least alluding to is that no one actually has confirmation yet. Nice. But the definitive side is they are. They don't like Wanda, so if she is alive, oh, fuck. she's gonna have literally a whole a big army of witches that are like gonna. But now basically, they're making an alliance with the idea of like Charles. we all hate each other, but if Wanda shows up and they're like, "Cool, we'll make our own team," right? And you're like, "Whoa, Charles, we're <laughs> getting a vision again." Yeah, so that's what's interesting too, right? So, so now we've, we've had think, a Wanda with right, Vision, we've right. got an Agatha, and now we're getting a Vision. Well, series? and we and I have and no Vision's idea. Vision's not dead. Jimmy just hears you're getting a lot of homework. That's well, there's two Visions technically. <laughs> well, there's White Vision. And yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. I, so the ship of of a Theseus. But what's or neat with the Agatha that I like is it seems like it's its own thing. Like, yes, it's referenced Wanda and the MCU, but it's breaking away. But not in a way where I'm like, what was that? What was that? It's really its own. Thing. Oh, so you I don't like, need to watch something else unless you just want to understand the character of yeah, Agatha? Like, like, I even think if As you I look didn't, at you, Jimmy. <laughs> if you didn't watch WandaVision, I feel like you could still watch this and be like, this is cool. Sure. This is fun. Well, it's a Halloween-y show. Well, and I also don't know where it's going, but I like, like, which I really like. Like, I don't know what Aubrey, like, I don't know what her character's plan is. I don't know what, like, I kind of know what Agatha's doing. She needs her power back, but we don't really know what that means. And we don't know what Aubrey Plaza's beef is with her. We just know they fucking hate each other, sure, yeah. and they've known each other a long time. You know, which I'll, is cool. I'll say you, Michael, said <laughs> it's Me. the same exact. It's the same thing as a. Uh, oh, it's just like when Ray Liotta said that you don't have to see The Sopranos to understand Many Saints in Newark. That's, it's oh, a that's lie. Hilarious. That's hilarious. It's a lie. lie. I don't believe lie. you. It's definitely yeah. a lie. No. I'm going to have to watch all this other bullshit to understand what's fucking going on in this show. This well, one, honestly, all you need to know is that before Wanda died, I guess, in Multiverse of Madness, she discovered Agatha was a witch and hiding and tried stealing Scarlet's, like tried stealing her power. So she not only got her power back, but she stole Agatha's power and then put her in a curse. Pretty cool scene. Where she, well, you see how the Scarlet Witch is formed and it's insane. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. And basically she left Agatha in this fake sitcom world thinking she's a part of that world as a regular person. Oh, that's funny. So Agatha, in the time since WandaVision, became a detective and developed this like... So when she starts, ego. so it's interesting when she starts realizing, like when things start happening that she can't explain, and everyone she starts That's... believing the witch. She's getting angry because she's like, "But I've been a detective the last like blah blah uh, blah," yeah. and she's like, "Do you know how many cases I've solved?" <laughs> and it turns out it's all bullshit, right? Yeah. So it's really f- like it's cool. I like Marvel's doing what I've been wanting for a while. Just do a which thing. Just be a comic book store and just do something. Don't worry. That it's also like, but Iron Man's here and blah. Like fuck it, man. If he needs to show up. Just let them. Like, yeah. I don't need yeah, yeah, an origin yeah. story. Because, like I said, they're not giving origin stories on any of these characters, but we know, okay, they're witches. They've had some conflict you get the together. the land. That's need. all you need. And they're bonding now because they're worried about the Scarlet Witch. Cool. 
how okay. many how many gorgeous Aubrey Plaza big eyes out of ten do you give it? So far, it's only two episodes. Sorry, in. out of five, out of five. Let's go prime. It's original. two episodes in. Yeah, it's out of eight episodes. I'm assuming. I would say so far, my intrigue for sure, like an eight out of ten. Nice. You know the guy. It's decided, made really well. Nice. Yeah. The guy who decided that shows go to eight episodes just needs to be put down. He does. He does. He doesn't understand. Building, I don't know why eight's story. the new rule. Like why can't it's it just, cheaper? Why can't it just be though? Like it's oh, but what if a show is like look at like the British show? Sometimes it's just about four episodes. you're just cutting at different. Like <laughs> like you tell the story that needs to be told. If it's six and then it takes seven, three years to come four, up with the next season. Who cares? But somebody eight? thinks from a seat somewhere that they can be like we only need eight, and somebody on the in the studio is like but I need ten. This this is how you always get filler episodes because a writer's like, I have six awesome episodes, and they're like, we need eight. And it? then you have that episode where yeah. you're like, nothing's happening. We should do a <laughs> like, this we is should the just filler. do an episode of the show where we do filler episodes <laughs> of shows. We never yes. quite get to a subject we talk about. We should do this and then never do it and then do something else. The best filler Brainstorm. episodes of TV. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Because I think that's a perfect conversation. Breaking Bad has one. Everybody has Everybody one. Everybody has and that they filler have that episode. typical episode where it's like it's a flashback episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah, yeah. it's like a dystopian future when, episode. When it's Simpsons always, do clip shows. Uh, right? Like when It's Always Sunny does that. Yeah. Vito literally goes, is this going to be our clip show? And Dennis is like, yeah, whatever. And then it just cuts to it, and it's a clip show. That's literally, like, <laughs> and they even break the fourth wall to make fun of the fact they're doing a clip show. It's great. It's that great. is, by it's definition, really funny. filler TV. Are we doing sure. a clip show? Is that what we're doing now? Ah, whatever, yeah, I guess. Whatever. And you can't yeah. do that in film. Like, right, it's, yeah, it's yeah. what's on camera. It's but gotta, what's it's funny important. is there's filler... I feel like there's filler films. Like Marvel is the king of filler oh Ant Man films yeah, of the ones that just don't yeah. matter. Yeah, yeah, like the ones where you're like, "Wow, this was really so they could just be like, and next year it's Avengers," and you're like, "Okay, Great. I would have waited." Yeah, you're just you're, you're just <laughs> fucking yeah. edging me. Like Kevin Feige, Iron Man three to me is still one of the most useless MCU movies. It was garbage. I'm sorry, which about, one? Uh, Whiplash, buddy. Iron Man. 3. Oh, Iron Man. Oh, I thought that was Iron Man Mickey, 2. Mickey Rourke. Iron Man no, 2 sorry. is Mickey Rourke. Uh, Iron Man 3 See, is... See, that's how bad Iron Man 3 is. Guy Pierce's Lava oh, Man. And then Gwyneth Paltrow becomes Lava Man, and then he saves because Lava Because in Man. 3, that thing they're using that they eat or ingest or yeah, put into Yeah, but I thought being... once you're injected with it, that's it. And then Gwyneth gets it, and all of a sudden Tony's like, oh, no, I figured out how to get it out. Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. Plot. And then fucking, that's what's this? That's a big plot hole. No war machine. It turned into Patriot, and then they don't even use the suit. No. Nope. Remember? It's all america out, and then he's like, the military owns it now. <laughs> they do? <laughs> that movie sucks. Like it wouldn't be camouflage? That movie was <laughs> shit, man. That was them being like, wow, Avengers was great. What do we do? And they're like, Iron Man? No, do Avengers 2. <laughs> you fuckers. It's too late. Yeah. Sorry. Jimmy, what did you watch this week? <laughs> Me and Michael went to go see Speak No Me? Evil. Me? Yeah, we did. We went to go see yeah, Speak No Evil. Yeah, you were there. I was there. I was there. My God. It was Speak No Evil. You can watch the movie. Talk about an talk. anxiety just attack. Don't talk about it. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, no, there's no point in that movie where you feel like you can relax at no. all. No. Good. So the trailer, because the trailer makes me uncomfortable. The amount of times I've seen that fucking trailer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. too on, on, yeah. on, on, on uh, what is it? Spy on our TV thing that we have? Every day. Every day. They uh, were really promoting the shit out yeah. of this. Yeah. Like, like as my, much as Alien. It was weird. It was yeah. shocking. Yeah, it was but weird. But what'd you think? I thought it was great, man. Like, you feel that anxiety the whole fucking movie, and it's just, like, it's not the Danish one, but it's pretty much the exact same. They just switch a couple of the characters. Like, I think it's- There's no pastry being... in this one? Is that what you're upset about? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, like, instead of being British, they're American, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, it's, okay, it's okay. small okay. switches like that, and I'll just say that the ending isn't the same, but it's not in a bad way. Cool. No, it's fun. I enjoyed the ending, having not seen the other two movies that- So there's a crazy Faja There's a vintage one, and then there's the Danish one. And yeah. The Faja is crazy in both. Though. Do you know the story yes. of it? So, I mean, the trailer, at least the Gave American the trailer, pretty away. much told me the whole movie. Yeah. yeah. Which is like, clearly they come off as super nice. Yes. Woo they this are. couple. They And do. then the minute they come to their property, they're like, we're probably going to eat you. We're weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're probably going to cut off your tongues and fuck you Yeah, guys. there's no ifs, so, ands, or buts about it. Because I hate that they showed the kid in the trailer go, oh, uh, I'm like, great, yeah. so you did, your dad did that, I guess. I guess they probably <laughs> thought making the trailer, they're like, well, people have seen the other one. They know about the other one. We I don't have to hide things, I saw but it you as hide things. They, they, yeah. Just they do did it. the kid because American audience are still like, ew, awesome. And that's, that's what's going to make it right there. Movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? And I mean, That'll if you stick it. around like, to the end, it is, yeah. ew, that's awesome. What it, that's what it is. I think that's because the whole reason I saw the trailer and they threw that in there, I'm like, hey, how much of the audience is like now like, whoa, 
Oh, I'm into that now because there's this gore thing still that people want. You know? I know. Like, yeah. Oh, as yeah. someone who wants it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Someone who watches it, it before it. bed, more. The seat, you know what's funny is one of the things, that, that whole trailer, like when he yells at the kid because the kid, yeah. I don't know what the kid does, but he freaks out that the other bomb is like, like don't chill. do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's don't it's also chew with they, your mouth open. When yeah. they're changing to go skinny dipping, not even skinny dipping, just in their underwear, and I think the wife says, you have a nice body, and then that look yeah. that McAvoy gives, it's just like, oh, but no. Ma- but McAvoy. <laughs> and this is and still the you, beginning, I can tell, because they're doing stuff and together. Charles McAvoy's <laughs> fucking big in this yeah, movie. Yeah, I saw, he like, looks he's like Efron like, in an iron claw. He's bigger, yeah, like he's he's just bigger than huge. Split. Like he he's looks just big. lean. Yeah, like, he looks bigger than he was in Split. He's, like, got he he's looks, farm strong, too. Yeah, yeah he just, could start a track with his bare hands. I think that's why he can't play Professor X. He's just too jacked. Nobody's been a jacked. Professor X, that's, like that's I don't know. Fake, I, like, I, <laughs> I said to Jimmy, I was like, I, "This role does not require this much muscle on him, so he's doing something else." Yeah, that's what or, Michael thinks. Or that, I mean, or he's Wolverine. I mean, after the, he got in shape, because look at how good he got in shape for Split. Maybe he's just but like, I don't want to lose that. But this character you know? doesn't need the mass. Like, no, 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 for really. sure. There's well, but he's got to be scary, scary in a way. But he does, what's yeah. scarier? Thinking like this guy could physically. It does if he grab yeah. me, I'm done. He can oh, physically yeah. hold me here. That's it. You know? If he got a hold of me, it's Because that's what I saw. Grind I saw that scene where he bread. has shirt It's off, supposed to make like, you tense like that. I'd be yeah. scared of that man yeah, the, running at me. Because he could like, kill you when he wants yeah, to. Yeah, he could yeah. fucking break my skull with his hands. It's like, like little subtle jabs, too. Like when they meet at the Italian... Uh, big trip they're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he starts off super charming, and then as everything progresses, right. he just gets he more. It's the red eye. Cool. It's the Cillian yeah. Murphy red eye. Yeah, that's kind of like how red well, eye is. He starts off a little charming but, and uh, but and then this, he gets this, crazy. This guy, <laughs> like the 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 scene that had me crawling instantly was, you find out that Mackenzie Davis's character is vegetarian. They have a debate about it. It's in Italy. Then they go visit them in London. And the dinner I think that it's in night, the trailer too. It's in, it's, it's in the yeah. It's I also, think it's in the trailer. Oh yeah, he yeah, like yeah, makes yeah, her yeah, eat a piece yeah. of the yeah. uh, family goose that yeah, they kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she doesn't say anything because she wants to be polite. Right, but you know. Yeah, yeah. He knows, you know what he's doing. Right. Yeah. It's the start of like this manipulation of like. Yeah, exactly. Let's I'm see how far Chuck can get away with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. I'm gonna lock you up eventually. Yeah. But let's see how I can get there because that's the impression I got is like. He's gonna lock these people up. Well, and he's then gonna it, murder them or eat them. Like he can do whatever. I mean, at this we point. we were like, there were points where we we're like, don't do that. Why are you doing that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, know. the idea that he did cut this kid's tongue off, even if it wasn't him, the idea they put that in your brain in the trailer. I'm like, that's fucked up. Well, see, I almost wish they wouldn't because <laughs> I you don't know. know how far he's gonna take I know. it. But now we, yeah, know. you really, I you got saw, a lot. In the I never saw the Danish one. So no, when that's they what kept I mean. saying the Danish one, I'm like, oh. I only Fuck. knew the original one from like the golden age of cinema. Did yeah. the Danish one come out a long time ago? No. Or is it still no. a relatively new no, movie? No, not really. Wow. So like Hollywood's yeah. just hopping on things, eh? Uh, I mean, yeah. things that do well over there do really well over here then, right? That's, like I guess it's true. I guess it's true. You know, like if Europe loves it, then America And will I gotta make give them global. props. That's why I give them props. It gives you a reason to watch both. I like the fact, even if people were like, the other ending's outrageous. I'm like, I like the fact that they at least did something different because it gives me a reason. The Danish ending really is watch. fucking crazy. Yeah, you should watch that one first. All the reviews I read were saying that they were, they thought this one was tame, and I was oh, like, yeah. interesting. No, it is this one's interesting. Tame. I mean, this one's shocking for having seen what I saw, but it's not shocking. No, the, yeah. I kind of expected more. We did? Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. Okay. I think I give it a six Because the one thing I give the American funny games is that they went... I saw the original one, and yeah. it's pretty much shot for shot. Yeah, no, the Ameri- I, I've yeah. seen both, too. The American went for it. Yeah. Like, they really did. They- is that the one with Adam Sandler and Seth Rogen and Seth Rogen's writing? No, that's no. funny people. That's funny people. <laughs> that's a good one, too, though. That's a three-hour... <laughs> that was that's actually a three-hour German Apatow. Apatow. It's yeah. actually a Mass- five-hour German movie that <laughs> Apatow adapted. Fuck. <laughs> No, Funny Games is Tim Roth and Naomi Watts. Yeah, and Michael uh, Pitt. Michael Pitt. And this other kid I can't remember. Who's done, he's a character actor. Yeah. He's done he shit is, in, right? He is a character. He's one of those guys. Son of a bitch, he is. But and he's just, good in this. They break Son into their bitch. like New York upstate home, their beach house, Not and even their terrorize na- them. They play neighbors. Remember, yeah, they're, they, they're, well, they, they're the property yeah. neighbors, and then you find out you see them they broke into the neighbor's Lovely. place. Lovely. What wild. a movie. But then they do something in the movie that is like, out of nowhere, but it yeah. works so well. They break a fourth wall. I've never seen in a horror movie, but it's incredible. I like that premise And I've a never lot. seen a movie do it like that. Watch Funny Games, It's man. really cool, Watch man. It. It's amazing. And it ends in a way very shocking, but the way the characters do it is subtle. But you're just like, 
and then it's over, and you're okay. like, "What the fuck?" Well, I like yeah. those endings. It's a good mic drop, I, like I a like big an mic ending drop, where you can actually talk about it, and it's not just defining yeah. what's happened. I saw it because you can't talk about that with somebody. You could say, "Yeah, I liked it," but that's, that's it. What, yeah, like I saw it before <laughs> I met Claudia, and then she had never seen it, so we watched it, and it was one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite movies to discuss. Sweet. Because there's so many layers to the insanity in that movie. Oh, funny games. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. Yeah, it, it's wild. It, it just—it's it, a psychological study almost. Each <laughs> like, scene trumps the previous. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's uh, and then filmmaking. Like the movie is shot, and then again in a filmmaking way, they do something that you're like, "Whoa, what? I love this, but what the fuck?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's cool. It's, it's topical really cool. instead of just being like cinematic and yeah, and yeah, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So six out of ten for you. Six for, out of ten. Yeah, yeah. I agree cool. with you on that. Six out of ten for it's Speaking fine. Of, yeah, the movie, but you can wait until it's you on can. demand. Cool. Yeah, like, and you would say like if you do want to watch both, start with the Danish one. Yeah, totally. Say? Okay. Well, I I guess technically it doesn't matter which one you watch first, but cool. Save the Danish one. Yeah, maybe right. right Especially watch. if it's yeah, got actually, a very I different. Yeah, actually, I think that's ending. a good idea. Because if you're saying it's Especially if it's got a really different, more, ending, yeah. yeah, that's cool. I'd that's say cool. yeah. Save watch this. Watch the American one first because. I don't want you to be let down. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who filmed... Is it anybody big that did this Blumhouse. American one? It is Blumhouse it's that Blumhouse. did it. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think it's him, but it's Blumhouse No, yeah, yeah. Oh. Nice. Um, the fuck did I I'll watch this it. week? Let me go yeah, to, hey, let me, Mike. Let me go to my letterbox. What'd you watch? Okay, last Friday, Shauna puts on this documentary in the background. Oh, literally, yeah. Literally just... For James background. Watkins. James Watkins, there you go. I don't know James what else Watkins. he did. Literally just for background noise, right? I'm editing... You posted about this, and I was like, what? He did Woman in Black. Oh, okay. And The Descent 2. Woman in Black is the one with Harry Potter? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I That's okay. That's name. okay. So, yeah, so I throw this documentary on, and um, I I have no idea what the hell's on the screen. And then I hear that it's the guy who did Tiger King. Okay, yeah, it's you the told same me about filmmaker. This. Eric it's the same Good. document. Eric Good. Same document documentary. Documentarian. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's okay. also the guy who did the Cove too. I think, I think Oh dear God. Like he's, Holy shit. Yeah, he's like a big Because yeah. this one's about chimps. Welcome to right? the Cove cast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but We're dead talking dolphins. all Cove tonight. Cove yeah. Cast. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite Cove cam? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> favorite no. kill. No. So so yeah, you find out it's the same guy who did Tiger King, and then I'm like, okay, so I like I, I say to Sean, I'm like, what the fuck is happening in the background? It's gonna be very yeah. colorful. What is because, it? It's like, gonna what, be very colorful. Yeah, like what is happening here? And she's like, it's called Chimp Crazy, and I'm like, okay, cool, awesome. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm like, start it, start it. Go back to the beginning. Like I, I can't remember at what point it was, but I think it was. <laughs> She's like six, right at the end. <laughs> six chimps. No, you know when it was. It was when Alan Cummings, and the story of Buddy comes into play into the documentary series. Okay. The movie that Alan Cummings did with the chimpanzee. Yeah, 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 yeah. That chimp is called Tonka. <clears throat> Tonka. Very famous okay. chimp, just like the. Is fucking... this gonna be like nope. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> They had to kill it, Jimmy. Alan Cummings yeah. is dead. He's dead. Jimmy. But you you find out that just like with tigers, there is a huge population of Americans who are big into exotic animals. And try to own yeah. these chimps. And they buy and trade and live Jesus and love fuck. and experience life with chimps. Jesus fuck. And the story is Leave these chimps alone. There's one huge chimp trader in America. She gets busted by PETA. PETA comes to the property, gets every monkey out except for one Tonka. No, Tonka Tonka Tonka's left behind Tonka might be dead Tonka Aww. might have been burnt Oh my Aww. god Tonka could be buried somewhere Jesus Or Tonka could be alive And you don't fucking know Let's That's how movie. it ends That's how the first episode ends Let's oh, just make a movie man. about that So oh, Man <laughs> The next three episodes Bounce in between This woman Who's cool. this Caretaker of Tonka Or the last yeah. one to have Tonka You don't know Right While putting While juxtapositioning <laughs> With with other people who've been involved with chimp incidences, which I don't uh, know if you know of Travis from incident. Nope, right? Chimp, tr- exactly. A chimp incident. So that chimp was incident. based on a real thing that Travis happened, right? was what inspired the scene in in Nope. In gotcha. nope. So that was a hard scene to watch. Holy that's a very hard scene shit. to watch. So Oprah actually interviewed the woman who was attacked by the yeah. chimp. You hear oh, the nine one one call. Yeah, yeah, that, that woman, that whole story. I, I stabbed him. Right? I, I saw stabbed that. Him. Yeah, Exa- exactly. I saw that. Oh my god! So that's he like sto- ripped off part of her face. Yeah. He, he turned her face into a butthole. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah, a yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And this is a Sklar Brothers joke where they talked about if you typed in into Google "woman who," it would autofill automatically to had face ripped off by chimp. I do not. I, I'm not surprised in the slightest. So you've got that story. 
Then you flip back to the Tonka story. Then you flip back to another story about a woman who raised a chimp who got so out of hand the SWAT team had to come in and shoot it in the head. And there's video of that. Oh, it feels like there were other options. There were a lot. Tranking the the thing was. R.I.P. Rambe. Right. I mean, if they're killing people that are like running at them, I'm not shocked. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what you do in that situation. But so it's the story of. (laughs) Who's the chimp's lawyer? (laughs) (laughs) Who's who's going to represent the chimp? The shaggy DA. People versus. What do they do in the Simpsons ever? It's (laughs) Mr. He's just throwing bananas. <laughs> but you you go this on this jacket. wild ride of the documentarians being like, they find out in real time in the making of the movie yeah, yeah, yeah. that Tonka might not be dead. Oh, where is they, Tonka then? I'm not gonna tell you where Tonka. Oh my is. god, you gotta yeah, watch, you gotta it, watch it, guys. It. Yeah, four hours this. of insanity. So they know. They know. It's okay. just is it four episodes? It's four it? episodes. Okay, yeah, I can. Four watch hour it. long episodes. Yeah, he's right behind you. It <laughs> was. He's right behind me, isn't he? The chimp is coming from inside. the Oh house. my god! Like it's it comes out of the chest. It's campy. It's, he's com- it's 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 well, it's Tiger King, right? It's Tiger King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's this, yeah. it's this, like Joe. Is, there, is it super colorful? Is it super bright? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pink. He loves that shit. There's a lot yeah. of like this woman has got big juicy lips, big fake tits. She's in track suits. <laughs> she great. she like she, her whole entire house is dedicated to chimp love and chimp life. Like she is she is overboard for the chimps. Jesus. And like I. As I'm How watch- is that allowed? Like that's crazy. As I'm watching this, I'm like, that's you crazy. watch a little chimp, right? Like it, it's hilarious because they sit there and they're like, oh, they're so lovable. Oh, Tonka was amazing. Tonka loved me. Tonka would never Until harm anybody. Until you get stronger, well, yeah, and but- can say no to things. Of course, I'll, I'll one up. Oh, it. I'm stronger. They're than you. sitting there talking about it while the chimp is in a cage. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. I'm right. like, take the chimp out of the cage and say yeah, that. That's lady. what I'm yeah. saying. Like, yeah. fuck yeah. you. You're still don't- putting it in a fucking cage. Like, why is it? Why is it not? And then you're surprised mm-hmm. if it rips your face off. Exactly. You put me in a cage every day. And that's the thing is that when they're when they're babies, <laughs> how is that allowed? It's when nuts. when they're these tiny little babies and they come up to you and they run up to you and they have five fingers and they yeah. have and they love jo- you and they love you and yeah. they hug and you. Just I mean, looking at you, dude. Yeah. If a chimp walked up to me and ran up and hugged me and just started stroking my head, I would yeah, be rip like, my face off. Like I don't. I would where risk did, it. I would risk it. I would where because did, like where did you come from, little this, guy? It is. They it's are when co- you tell it no. Yeah. Because the lady that got her face ripped off, the chimp wanted to go for a car ride. And said, yes. she said no. And she said no. Right. And the chimp got mad. Right. And at one point, the chimp is going to be bigger and stronger than right. you. Right. And that's the difference between a child having a tantrum and a fucking chimp. Well, it's yeah. the same thing. Right. Well, because they all, have the same yeah, ideology. Exactly. They're it's mad the at being thing. told no. But the chimp could kill you. Know you know what? Also, right. But they're having a tantrum where the chimp could kill you. Yeah. Exactly. I never thought about this, but children also have the whole shit throwing thing. Yeah. Exactly. Too, yeah. Right? Kids right? love grabbing whatever's next to them and, and like just shaking it or throwing it. Right. Because it's I'm mad. I'm so angry. This is also a wild animal. It still has instinct. Yeah. I give Chimp right? Crazy four, four basement enclosures out of five. <laughs> because Aww. every chimp owner has one. Like, if, if like, you own a chimp, eventually your basement, like, imagine me owning a chimp and the whole basement would be where the chimp is. You know what's you know what a plexiglass. Uh, <laughs> that's plexiglass fun. door before I Can come Can you just tell me, like, Tiger King, do some of these people go to jail? Or the anything. woman, the woman who like, was the ma- the major bullshit. chimp trader, she goes down. Good, she but is a traitor to the chimp. She is, she is a chimp she traitor. Is. But the woman who, the woman who the story is about, Jane who Goodall. may or may not have if this this is Jane. So Goodall. that's why they won't take her down. This is Jane she's Goodall. The only one that knows about Tonk. This is Jane Goodall from the trailer park. Okay, this okay. is a trailer. This is a byway version yeah, yeah, yeah. of Jane Goodall. It's like Jane Goodall with no degree. Because I think Jim Layhall. Yeah, like she's like Jim Layhall. Like she's wearing like like juicy tracksuits and like taking care of a chimp. She like names in, one of the chimps Bo Bandy. Come here, Bo Bandy. That is a good chimp name. <laughs> Honestly, it, it, if you liked Tiger King, you will love yeah. Chimp Crazy. You know, I'll hate everyone. I'll want them you will. all. I'll you will. hate them all. You'll wonder yeah. why like Ohio is where why it takes they place. Jail? Ohio, of course it is. Yeah, right? yeah. Which like isn't doing anything for the whole pet conversation. I just Ohio think it's right mental now. that that is a country that allows you to Ohio has animals. the least amount of sanctions like, sorry, and state crimes and country, like, for right, exotic animal training. If you want to own an animal. And why Ohio? And wasn't Tiger know. King from Ohio too? I think so. I, I think yeah. they were. I, th- I thought he was Ohio? Florida. Well, <laughs> I think he started. He was. I think he was Florida and then went north. Also why Ohio? Like why? Because I there's no know. rules Because there. there's no rules. It's lawless. Dude, in the, mo- in the documentary there is there is a, a, an auction house and there's like camels and alligators. They just have no and, rules. And, like on they that. have no rules. They have an auction every week Jesus for Christ. live exotic animals, and, and that's because they believe that's freedom. It's that's freedom. Yeah, that's freedom, baby. <laughs> freedom. Gotcha. You know what they call this? Sure, uh, the animals. You know similar. what the documentary's name is, Mike? What a wonderful day! <laughs> 
Watch it. That's all I cool. want to. Uh, I mean, is it Crave? Is it I've watched. Crave? I've, I've watched. Sounds like Crave. I watched Chaos this <laughs> yeah, week. I watched The Perfect Couple this week. I watched. Rebel hey, how Ridge. was that? By the way, is that worth a watch? Perf- Give Perfect, Perfect Couple a shot. Yeah. yeah. Skip the dance intro. The Cole Kidman to- drives me a little crazy. Oh, you'll like her in this. Kay. You'll like her. She in this just wants to watch movies. <laughs> Fucker. She's just like us. AMC shit. Oh, she's just, just like us. Yeah. I You'll relate to so her in this. Sucky. We should make one of those for Landmark. <laughs> we, being like us to it? Yeah. I, just, oh my God, but we're all great. dressed like Nicole Kidman. I would do that. Dude, we don't even need permission. We can just go to a movie, get there super early, and then yeah, just, and just do film it. it right before. I'm yeah. totally down. <laughs> if anyone this. wants to be in it, they can. <laughs> no, well, I'll dress like Nicole Kidman and be like, yeah, 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 yeah. we love movies. I can <laughs> film it that exactly. Yeah, let's do it. Anyways, what uh, I love about movies is bringing in McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's just the slow enjoyment of people looking beside and being <laughs> as jealous. I crimple my paper. <laughs> we that shows someone who's blatantly like, what the fuck? We uh, <laughs> we, we we have a lot to discuss. We need to get into character now, and I think I hear I hear something. Is it oh, what, what time is it? It's debate time. Debate <laughs> 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 My name's DJ or Horn Interruption, and I'll be spinning fat beats for you all night. DJ I- Debate. <laughs> At my signal, unleash hell. Don't push it. Don't push it. I'll give you a war you won't believe. Goldstein, give me a fat beat to beat my body chest. <laughs> know what kind of guy you were. I never would have agreed to work with you. <clears throat> Are you going to bark all day, little doggy? What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. Would you repeat it? Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? As mentioned at the top of the show, if you skip the review portion, that's your loss. You don't know what to watch yeah. this week. But uh, if you, F you. If, if, exactly. do you want me to just say it now so they have to hear it again? Yeah, do the, <laughs> just do it all over. We're just on repeat this week. Let's start again, Charles. What's your pick? By the way, we watch Agatha <laughs> all along. Tell us about it. <laughs> Uh, no, so we told you at the top of the show that we were going to do the best character actor debate. So we've got 16 characters. Martin is unfortunately not oh my here. God. He's in Alaska. Martin that's is right. all the way in Alaska. That's right. Hunting. And, uh, <laughs> hunting. hunting on a cruise ship, yeah. Exactly. He's shooting from the side of a fucking cruise ship. He's actually in 30 Days a Night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if he can make it. Oh, He's crazy. filming a sequel. They're That's filming great. alone up there. Or Trap 2. So, uh, <laughs> we signed him up. He didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Alone. Two, two, is that the show we signed him up for? Alone? <laughs> I think that's what it is, yeah. So, let's start off with round one, which has Who got, we got seed one and seed 14, which is Tim Blake Nelson. That's a Jimmy pick. <sighs> He's in the Marvel universe. That's not fair. Versus <laughs> Michael Winslow, for if you don't Michael know, Michael Winslow. Yeah, Martin decided that this was his one of his picks. It's the sound effects guy from Police Academy. Correct. So because Martin and just not for here, laughs and just for laughs too. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Do you want to touch Michael Winslow or do you want me to proxy? I don't for think Martin? Michael Winslow wants to touch Michael Winslow. Cool. Um, I'm just someone saying. has Can to. Can we uh, just give this to Tim Blake Nelson? That yeah. is not a character actor. That's a guy who did voices in I, Police. That's I'm, a character. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, I don't want Winslow anywhere near the final three. I, I don't think, think that makes should, any sense. I so, think if, when you're editing, just put a Michael Winslow soundbite. Is here there an so asterisk can, here? So we can acknowledge that he did make sound effects. Okay, hang neat. on. All right. One, but, uh, <laughs> hang on. We're, this is what we're going to do. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, on the count of three, we're, we're, we're going to insert sound effects. So instead of a moment <laughs> of silence, <laughs> it'll be a moment of sound yeah. effects from Michael Winslow. Yeah. So on the count of three. They got the beeps. <laughs> they got the creeps. <laughs> And I got the sweeps. <laughs> is everyone here an asshole? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think Tim Blake Nelson should. This is this is like having a bye week. This is how the bad this is. The last thing I remember of Michael Winslow was when he did that gag on Just for Laughs where he literally, his whole thing was like. Just being the sound yeah, effects Yeah, do you person. guys know being at the mall and he's just making. And I remember being like, whoa. We love insane. you, Michael it's amazing. Winslow. We, we do. Love you. The Police Academy loved him, but. But yeah. a character is not a sound machine. No. Tim Blake Nelson was also an O oh Brother Where It Thou? Yes. Yeah. Right. And right. now you could argue that he's been the lead in a few, like, you know, Buster Scruggs, but that's a he's one the new scene villain in Brave thing. New World, Captain America. He was looking. I, he was looking. He's class. coming back, Jimmy. He I was. Guess maybe he's not. <laughs> is he the Hulk? 
Maybe he's a no. That's <laughs> no, Harrison Ford. That's Harrison Ford. <laughs> no, he's master. What is it? Ma- mastermind? mastermind. I think yeah, he's, he's Looking Glass yeah. in the new uh, in the Watchmen in the series. The Watchmen but series. he's not a main character. Not in a that. main character. He's hasn't won any major oh, awards. Surprising yeah, enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what did I see him in recently? He's always great though. Like he's good. Oh my! Oh, no. This is Was it. it this is exactly report? it. This is yeah, what this proves is, he's a character this actor. This is proved. Like he's great in everything, but like only five foot five. Isn't that crazy? It's one of my favorite <laughs> heights. Oh, man, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> it's one of my favorite heights. I think he's in Minority Report, and he has a good He is in bit Minority there. Report. Yeah, he has a great bit in Minority Report. He got nominated for a Critics' Choice Award, but he did not win for Watchmen. Okay, you want a list wow. here? He was in Hulk, though. He was in actually yeah. Yeah, he was in Hulk. Yeah, he was no, dude, he's oh, coming back for I, Brave New World. I'm incredible. not kidding. He's, he's in Lincoln. He's in Donnie Brasco. He's See, in Meet he's, the Fuckers. But he's in everything. Oh, yeah, he's, he's great in Meet Four. the Fuckers. He's in Heavyweights. He's in the big year. He's what a list. in Hamlet. He's in. Oh, he's in everything. He's in Kill the Messenger. That's going to be all of this. Did you he know, not help right? write Oh Brother Where Art? Though he's in. Yeah. Like he helped write it too. Right. Yeah. Like he's yeah. done a lot. Of, he is. He is the guy you need when you want someone short and weird looking, but still. But has, Ron Howard's brother. Is yeah, it's not, not available. Ron, but yeah, not Cliff. I'm not, not what not you Clint would call Howard. a pretty man. Yeah. I can't believe none of us picked Alan Tudyk. Spoilers. That's true. Or Ron yeah. Howard's brother. No, I no, thought, we did. We I got thought Martin Howard. did. We yeah. got oh, yeah, Howard he did. Yeah, Martin yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. all right. I don't even want to mess around with but this But no anymore. Tudyk. Yeah. No. It's because well, he's coming to Comic-Con. We want to save it for them. Fuck, I like Alan Tudyk. Alan Tudyk's great. Also voice acting wise, Yeah, like he does everything. He's great in the Harley Quinn show. Yeah, that's right. He's Joker. He's hilarious. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh, he's good. fantastic. I like his. That Joker. whole show is great. I watched Kite Man. Hell yeah. Yeah, the Kite Man Dude, was actually so really funny. funny. It's good. I really liked it. Like it's I, funny. that humor is just for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. was that was easy. Um, Jimmy, going. you just pick the next round. I don't even. Let's not even go in order. What, what What's the next one you want to see? I can't read that far. Okay. So Zoe wants me to get an eye test, but I refuse. Uh, uh, I I think she's got. <laughs> I think she got you beat there, bud. Clint Clint, <laughs> Clint Howard is, oh. or Richard Kind. That oh okay. you want you want to you want to well I'm Richard that? Kind I know you're Richard Kind but Cliff oh. Howard is also Martin so I figured let's give Martin a rest here Who because we're just going to eliminate him by guys? default. Uh, we got Judy Greer versus Jennifer Coolidge. She's Coolidge. going up against Coolidge. Them? Sorry, they're going up against you. each yeah, other. They're going up against oh, each damn. other. And this was all random too. That's me. We got Melissa Leo versus John Carroll Lynch. Well, this is going to happen. Oh, yeah. John Carroll Lynch sounds familiar. Bobcat Goldthwait versus Luis Guzman. Oh, yeah. Margot Martindale versus Walton Goggins. She can't win. Dennis O'Hare versus Stephen Root and Jason Manzukis versus Kurt Fox. So those wow. are your wow. out of those. Which ones? Or Charles? Maybe you pick one because wow. you can see. <laughs> Dude, that's I know. Nuts. I just randomized. Yeah, I want to get the fucking Morgan Martindale out of the. You want yeah, okay? Let's, let's get Margot Martin. Let's get Margot out of here. Oh, you think? Oh, okay. Let's fucking let's do this. Here. You think Mark? Oh, you're done. Over Goggins? Are you insane? So considering, uh, she can't call herself a character actor in a show and still think she's a character actor. Are you? Hold, hold, hey, put the gloves down for a second. <laughs> I'll judge this one. You can have Goggins. Jimmy's got Martindale because that's his pick. On the count of three. Oh, you're done. <laughs> you're Jimmy, done. You I'm going for. You're done. Margot Martindale, listen, she's still doing stuff right now. She just got cast in the new John Benet Ramsey movie. I don't know how the fuck is she's going to be the mom. John I know, Ramsey? like that's how good of a character actor she is. She's going to play John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she's going to do. Bojack's the dad. But she's in everything. She is the she definition is. of a character actor. She is character actress Margot Martindale in Bojack Horseman. Practical magic. Cocaine Bear. Downsizing. Cocaine Bear is the ultimate character actor that. movie. I was just going to say, name me five movies you've seen. That you can recall with her. And well, can we do TV name shows? Maybe five things Goggins has done. Oh, my God. Goggins Lately. is not your turn Lately. yet. Lately. Hang on. Hang Goggins on. Goggins is a leading man now. No. Yeah. Uh, Fallout proves that. No. Fallout proves he's a leading Fallout man. Fallout is not the he main is the character. main character of that movie. Okay, that fine. TV he's, not a, he's not allowed to. He's not allowed to. You're is. not. You're and, not. Uh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're not allowed to use Fallout because it is too recent. So everything else can be used in your Billy argument. Billy Baby. Carry on Margot Martindale. Billy Baby. I like The Shield. But not as much as I like, say, Justified and Dexter and Sneaky P. Hey, she's in Dexter a little bit. Hey. That's the <laughs> point! <laughs> Shout out to the fact that she shot Heaven is for real here. She's in The Americans. She is. That was a good show. <laughs> I think they had her on BoJack because she was literally in Secretariat. Oh, fuck, that's funny. <laughs> Do you think that makes sense? Well, and they made her a lead. That's I mean, why yeah, I exactly. Think she, so has a lot of, she has a lot of work with horses. Because what mean. does she do? She The first thing she does is she puts the game. He hires her to plant <laughs> that game. <laughs> okay, yeah, time. all right. She's got, a, she's got an, a huge resume. That is a definite. But for me. This is massive. It's not your turn yet. Hang on. <laughs> massive. I'm not even going to bring up her awards because I am so confident she deserves to win this. She is literally character actress Margot Martin. 
I mean, when you want a woman who she's got so much range, it's ridiculous. She's like two pianos side by side. Like you she get extra notes. Funny. Oh, she, she was Dewey Cox's serious. mom, right? She was Dewey Cox's mom. That's right. Remember? That's right. It's one of my favorites. Wrong thing. kid died, and she's wrong that kid. Like died. I, I will, I will say she's got that. Who is that woman? Right? Like I see her That's everywhere. That's her. I see her everywhere. Yep. All right. Floor is yours. Try. Try your best. Try your best. So everything you said, I don't deny it. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving for on. Sure. <laughs> but oh. for someone who plays so many characters mm-hmm. and does it all and blah, 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 blah. I can't really <laughs> name many of them. Can you tell me what the blah like and the her blah char- and the blah means? Like her character name, I even just said she plays Dewey Cox's mom. You know? But that's but the character actor. But Goggins. Yeah. I know a lot more of his characters. What was his name? A lot in the more shield. of his character stand. Well, I'm going to bring me. him up so I keep him honest. Sassy, in the shield. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy shield. It was about him. It was his name was Shane. So I don't. I don't oh, know. Yeah, Sassy you Shane. are pretty close. Sassy That's Shane. not. They don't call him that. <laughs> Even you know what it was. Sons of Ar- Sons of Anarchy was when. Walter, I, if Walter you weren't going to mention it, yeah. I, it was going to be a sin. That was one of the roles that I was like that. Who is this guy? This I guy think he's is, just evil. I was attracted to him. Yeah, he was good. In that, Sons of that Anarchy. That accent and the way he did everything. The way he Carried moved himself in heels, and I was like, I'm attracted and to him. And little baby, little baby Billy. Billy oh, baby, my God. Is that the show where he sees that fucking demon face and he turns away from it like it doesn't bother him at all? Have you seen this clip? Uh, it's Walton Goggins, but I have no idea what oh the show man. is that it's the one I from. Was, uh, Righteous Gemstones is where he's Baby Billy. Oh, yeah. Baby Billy Bob or Baby Billy. <laughs> little Baby Billy. Um, but for a hot minute, you had him, like, he did a ton of shit in the 90s. He's always been, like, that Western, he's also, Southern Western guy. Bad guy. Need, right? Western bad guy. Western bad guy. Yeah, he does it really well. He was, he was, he was, he was he's great. He's in uh, American right? Ultra. Even in, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, American yeah, Ultra, that, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he was great in that. Even in, what's it called, um, Hateful Eight. Yep. He's not even in the whole fucking no, movie. No, you're right. But when he shows up, my God, he's great right away. I'm not away. saying he's not a character actor. No, 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 I just no, think for he's sure. past the point now. I think he's leading oh, man I see territory. What you mean. I see what you mean. So what you're saying is one has kept roots in her character world where Goggins has gone on to step into the limelight and is less about character and more about... We could make this about championships. We could. But Margo's going to blow everyone out of the fucking water here. Well, I mean, Charles, if you want any more time, I'm more than happy to give it to you, but... Uh, I say if you don't vote Goggins, you hate kids. Okay. I am he not does. planning on having and animals. children. Animals. Oh, you can't throw that in there. <laughs> these animals are Sean. These animals are Sean as and not mine. <laughs> so therefore, Margot Martindale. Come on. Moves on. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm two for two. This is my. I'm sorry. When I think of a character actor, yes. But I think Goggins has. You been, didn't really like Fallout. I disagree. I, hey, no, I loved Fallout. <laughs> just kidding. I I'm, fucking. So, loved by the way, it. finally just watched it, uh, crushed it about right? two weeks ago. Is it not? So, it was so good. I started playing the game for the first time, <laughs> and I'm really glad I watched the show. You were, you were one of like game. 11 million know, people the I month after. That I know. It was game. so popular on the PlayStation yeah, Store yeah, when yeah. that came out. Well, it's free now, so yeah. it's like, okay. Cool. All those games. But I will say, show was really cool. It yep. reminded me. I love That's how you they do it. Built a such show a where I'm like, world. no one's safe. It's like I you miss can do shows that. like that. Do you know how who can, it is, Even too? Goggins, I didn't think that's, was safe. That's, that's Jonathan Nolan and Yeah, Lisa yeah. Joy. So he basically was like, you guys are going to fuck me on Westworld. I'm going to Amazon. Exactly. And I'm going to do what, the, like, because Amazon's letting him do whatever he wants. But how there. come they can't make a fucking good Borderlands movie that isn't written by an AI? So that is a hundred Because that's awful. Eli Roth. Yeah. I, Why I, in the fuck did they let that man touch that movie? You know, He's in, and then I they brought someone it. else in to do rewrites. I so know. it was originally somebody's. So they gave it to Eli, he gave it to and Eli. then the, he had to have he brought rewrites. It in. Right, right. Like that's pathetic. Yeah, no, it really did. Also, not. I'm sorry, but it's a video game movie, and it's your sucks. director does not know the source material enough that he can write a script. That's not the it's right. Not like person. the games are complicated. Oh Just my god, that's not the right person. No, I yeah, sorry. I like it's really an ass movie also like i get it Kate blanchett's great not right for that role no no none of them and that movie was essentially eli roth saying let's do guardians yeah let's do it my way but bad but bad but like really bad. really bad where you hate everybody and everyone it's speaks just so and not memes. an eli roth movie too like i don't get it and they probably threw a huge check at him and it's he was a, like yeah i can do this. i 100 percent believe yeah. he punched it into chat gpt and just got yeah. a borderlands movie yeah. all right so let's go to dennis o'hare versus steven root Oh, Stephen Root, oh. I know. Who's Dennis O'Hare? Let okay, me, I'll pull him up. Are you a big big fan of American Horror Story? Sure. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. that guy. 
He's the doctor. He's the oh, he's in every season, and he's he plays in every season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's usually the over the top I know this guy. Weird. You, can I see a photo? I yes, you like can. I yes, like you can. I'm going to bring it up right away. I'm going to bring it. Is up. he weird looking? He's not weird he's looking. Not not Is it creepy? Looking. He's, he's not not look weird. Oh, I see. So he's a good looking motherfucker. He's an older gentleman <laughs> who uh, sexy. Um, no. Let's see. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, he plays. He plays the character you know, always really well. American Horror Story is where I came to uh, yep. came to love him, but yep. he's been he plays his roles really well. He, he was, was in, in Quiet Place Day One, but he, I don't know who he was. I don't remember him in that, but he's in Michael Clayton saw. as an yeah. asshole drunk driver who oh, yeah, kills yeah. somebody. Town yeah. that dreaded sundown, and he ju- he steps into a he steps in and takes five lines and just crushes it. In my yeah. opinion. And he was in Garden State. He was in Milk. American Gods. American Gods he was in. He's in The Judge as the other lawyer. He had a recurring arc on CSI and CSI Miami. Like, he's... Whoa. He's... <laughs> he's, he's he's very... Has anyone done that? <laughs> Garden, he's very, he's, Garden he's, State he was in? He's also very gay. And, like, does... Like, he... His... His... Uh, his flair for the dramatic. He was in the Grinch musical. Really? He yeah. is. Yeah, he's very. He's. Whoa. He's very, very gay. And Good I. For him. Yeah, like, but like. Wow. There. Dallas he doesn't Myers seem Club. Hollywood gay. You he's not he's, Hollywood gay. That's the thing, gay. right? Yeah, like, he's it's, definitely not Hollywood gay. But like, there is <laughs> there is something about his personality where he know like he can cross dress. He can. He reminds me of Tucci. He can a play bit. the straight man. He can. He has got a lot in his toolbox. Is yeah. what I'm saying. Like he hasn't yeah. been pigeonholed by Hollywood. Yeah. In the gay archetype role. This man's a character actor. He's a character like- actor, and he's and he's gotten away from that by being able to do the things that Hollywood says. Well, you're gay, so we can ask you to do this, and then he can also make you forget that he's done that. Yeah, he can yeah, Step yeah. so far away from it. He's in pl- Jay Edgar. He, he's. You know, honestly, if we did this, I feel like if we did this one, even like. If it was like ten years ago, like Stanley Tucci could still be on this list. <laughs> oh God, funny. it depends you know on when you do it. Yeah, like we're yeah. going backwards yeah, 10, yeah, 15 yeah. years. Here. He's because Stanley Tucci's definitely a character actor. For a while there, he was that guy that you're like, I see him in everything, and he's great. Now he's obviously a leading man a lot. But, but what about yeah. Stephen Root? I oh so, my God, I'm sorry, but News Radio Bally. is one of my favorite shows of all time. Right? He's I incredible. love Stephen Root. Office Space, King of the Hill. I love that he can go from something like Office Space, where he is so. Like a has character. such low confidence, and no Dodge one even looks ball. at him. Dodgeball, yep. dodgeball too. To something like news radio, where he is a rich, pompous asshole. That's like, right. Too confident Rage. and a big dick. Yeah. You know what? He's not yeah. that handsome either. But he. <laughs> L it for love. L for, L for love. love. But like he. <laughs> That's what I'm. He's in. He's in. No, what is it? No country. He's in No Country for Old Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He plays a handler in No Country for Old Men. Like yeah. I can believe him as I want my red stapler as much as he's an incredible. He's actor. The, the manipulator of Barry and Barry, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. How are you right? talking so about good. Barry? He's like, so good when he gets out of prison. He's <laughs> oh, and he's hard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's so good. Just lost all that weight from yeah, Jack, but like, so good. I, I feel when you really need, like, he's he's Steve and Buscemi. Voice, again, you said adjacent. voice acting too. Like voice acting. Like, the there's a lot of so, anything. I mean, Mike Judge. He's involved with anything. Mike Judge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mike Judge wants to do Another something. Genius. Yeah, that's the whole. I go Stephen Root, man. I'm so like I. I'm gonna have to agree. Yeah. He yeah. stands out more. Just a le- like but I mean, Dennis can we argue that people know who Steven Root is? I don't know. Do you know I what know. I mean? I still know people that would be like, oh, the dodgeball guy. Like, they don't no, know No, that's his a name. good point. Do you know, like, well, Steven Root's name is more, like, when I say Dennis O'Hare, it wasn't as obvious we as had to Google Root, it. right? Like, you guys had to. Yeah, see, but this Whereas is Whereas I thing. just, I, I watch so much American Horror Story. And your guy right. really is that character and He actor. is. Like, I look for him in everything Ryan Murphy you does. Watch, so with Steven Root, it's like, I, we watch a lot of comedy. And yeah. Steven Root's no, in everything, true. right? So it's like, like I remember, what is it? Oh, that one with Zac Efron and, uh, oh, as somebody needs a oh, wedding Oh, Mike dates. and Dave need wedding dates. Yeah, need wedding he's the dad. He's the dad. And yeah. he's fucking hilarious. Look at you, you're riled. Yeah. <laughs> And then you get riled up. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, but then he right. plays someone so dumb, like fucking Office Space, right? Or like, you know, Dodgeball. Where well, he's hold like on, hold clearly... on. I don't think we're decided yet. I, I it's the two <laughs> of Unless you, you two go Stephen Root. I'm Stephen Root. Man. I'm Stephen Root as well, Root. too. Okay, well, I, 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 I can't Stephen say anything. The, the, I think your guy, like Dennis O'Hare, falls into the category of character actor right now more. Yes. But I think that Stephen because Root's of the legacy. impact that Root has had on yes. his roles. Yeah. Yeah, I also again I feel like we know. Well, like, it's about cinephiles know Stephen Root, but if you ask the average person, who no one knows Dennis O'Hare. They're no, gonna say like Office Space, the Stapler guy, exactly. You know I mean? yeah, right, and that still makes it that character. Nothing thing, right? of like, Dennis right. O'Hare's characters go off into the world of like. 
that character. Right. That yeah. guy. It Steven also Root seems like is him staple. and Ryan Murphy have very much a Scorsese DiCaprio thing. <laughs> that's like he does anything with yeah, Murphy I know what you're saying. production. That's my judge, yeah, Steven yeah. Root. And yeah, that's really. And he's like, as long as Ryan Murphy's doing stuff, I got work. I'm good. Because I don't see him in a lot of other things, you know what I mean? But I do see him in a lot of Ryan Murphy like productions and stuff, oh. which is great. This is great. Next round. This is a good one. Jason oh. Manzoukas versus Kirk Fox. Oh. <laughs> It's mean. <laughs> it's you. That's a mean one. That's both of your submissions. No, one. Martin's Mantzoukas, I that, thought. No, I was. No, you no, are? I got both oh, of these. Yeah. 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 This is a mean one. I'm just saying mean, too, because to put these guys against each other. Well, I give mean, us, give us your stuff. What do you got? Oh, who, yeah. who do you like more? So Kirk Fox will always be Sewage Joe for me from Parks and Rec. He's one of my all-time favorite. <laughs> Sewage Joe. He just plays dirtbag <laughs> asshole so well. Even in me and you talked about this, Jimmy, how it was nuts that that guy in jury duty didn't recognize, recognize him. Kirk Fox. Yeah. Even if you don't right. know his name, you're and like, he, I've seen you in everything. And he plays a toned down version of Sewage Joe, but he's still kind of that greasy. Like his <laughs> opening scene is him trying to make up a whole thing about his back getting out of jury duty and he's like what discs were though and he's like my t3 and t4 he's like yeah those are on your lower back and then he's like how about if it's just not for me <laughs> he's trying to copy <laughs> that old lady that gets away do you guys want to know like, something kirk fox is amazing I'm he's like, he's been in the patriot wyatt earp and yeah, the postman yeah because he plays a lot he like the he's a western do, looking guy yeah and he then is. they do civil war stuff he plays a yeah. lot of those if he goes looks against good. you're lucky he yeah. didn't go against goggins or you would have had a meltdown <laughs> well you would have that would have been nuts <laughs> um, he doesn't yeah, have a big Kirk, resume, but like, yeah, he is. But he's so memorable. Yeah. Like, you know, I, Kirk Fox when he shows up in things, right? And like, yeah, in Parks and Rec, he was clearly there as like a small character, but he was so good. They bring him back, and he has like more storylines. And his sewage. Well, Joe. that's how good he is. Oh no! There yeah, we yeah, go. There we go. That's how you know he's yeah, just that guy, right? Yeah, yeah. He, um, Kirk Fox is very that guy. Where Jason Manzukis, I feel, is kind of the same role each time. Yeah. A little bit. I a haven't seen bit. him really He's a character out. actor, but he is just... Like, he's Pimento. Uh, he's a little bit of Pimento well, in everything. Yeah, Pimento, The League. Yeah. Like, yeah. And The League was the first thing I made? ever... <laughs> I will say I honestly enjoy everything. He's Invincible. In. Yeah. Like, that's the thing is that whenever... Yeah, Invincible. You get excited when he shows up. Like, when he showed up in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the first time you're watching, you're like, oh my God. Oh, shit. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Um, he's in Dirty Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was arguably, I didn't like the debater, or the dictator, sorry, not the, the debater. Dicta yeah, he was in the dictator. But he was one of the best parts yep. of it. And you know what? You're right. He's different in that movie, too. Yeah, he's, he's not tame. playing Matsuka. He's actually movie. the straight man you're in right. it. You're right. Because the dictator's crazy. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. But he's done um, Lego as well as he's, he's done, done a lot of voice work. He's, he's doing tons well, of voice work. Well, that voice is very recognizable. recognizable. Yeah. Very Big recognizable. Like in Invincible, it's amazing. It suits, I can't it see It suits Rex. Rex Explode. Yeah, I can't see it as anything. When I read the comic, I'm hearing his voice. Yeah, I feel he's on Absolutely. his way to becoming a very famous character actor. you're just waiting for that well, i'm waiting for that drama but he where is but where's the drama he's one of those heavy hitters like everyone in hollywood loves working with him and you can tell they he seems like a nice guy him. you know like because i think he does it's clear he does a lot of improv and he brings that out he makes everybody go well that's why you bring harder, him in right yeah. right like in parks and rec he's also in parks and rec he ups the funny and he plays oh god danny Sepperstein, i think is some weird name he's basically He's one of the richest people in Pawnee, and he makes colognes. And, of course he does. And one of the famous bloopers in that show is Adam Scott sprays himself with one. And he goes, why is this called insert? And without hesitation, Jason goes, oh, because it's been inside someone. <laughs> and they all <laughs> die. Like Aziz fucking falls out of his chair, and Jason just smiles. And they're, the crew's laughing. And it's just that level of improv. You know what I mean? Like You do not have to convince me any longer. I my vote's Jason Manzu. Yeah, I love you, Kirk, but I gotta go Jason. Okay. I do. I really do. I love Kirk. And I so really do. Fox. This is I'm still waiting for that if I can get a little bit of a dramatic role for Manzu. I feel like it's gonna come. I feel like it's gonna Well, I coming. feel that a character it's actor coming. needs to be able to do comedy, drama. You gotta do it all. Action. Like, yeah. You gotta be able to be I like, haven't seen something really dramatic from Kirk. No, you're yet. right. That's a good point. <laughs> no, that's a good point. Yeah. I want Kirk's Deadpool th dying in Thor's arms. My arm thing scene. is that I feel like he could do it. No, I agree. I think like, and that's what's impressive about. I don't get that feeling with Matsukas. Ooh, I like that. So when he does it, you'll be like, whoa. I'll be wowed. Yeah, like whoa. I'll be Next like, okay, up, I was wrong. This guy. Next up is the ladies. This is a. That's a tough one. This is Jennifer Coolidge. 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 Cool, I like Coolidge. You like Cool Cool. That's whip. his favorite kind Jennifer of. Jennifer Cool Whip. His favorite Doritos <laughs> are Coolidge. <laughs> yeah. With sprinkles. Jalapeno. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge versus Judy Greer. Oh, this is a hard 
Fuck. And this was your Judy Greer, right? I, these are both these my are picks both yours again. again. Oh yeah. my god! It happened to both yeah, of you. These are yeah. both my picks. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, tough, man. That's. T- I think you're in a pickle with this one too. I. I let's save Jennifer because I mean Judy is. No man, I'm going. Judy. Judy's when you want a mom. Judy's when she it, wasn't a mom on Arrested Development, Michael, or Californication, <laughs> dude, <laughs> right? or Halloween. Yeah. Judy, I can argue, is a little bit more versatile than Jennifer. From what Jennifer, we've seen. yes, from what we've seen, Jennifer has parlayed something. Who's yeah, got, who's got more Emmys, brother? Yeah, <laughs> but G- I okay. have a huge crush on Judy Greer. I always will. I do too. Kitty Sanchez is one of my spirit <laughs> animals. She was in um, town like four months ago. Shooting, okay, glasses on, uh, hair up. <laughs> Say goodbye to these. Oh she no, saw, no! She, they did the the remake of uh, the best Christmas pageant ever. Oh, um, what else was Jawbreaker was another big one yeah. that I loved her in. I'm gonna bring up a resume. Jawbreaker. Right okay, you get Judy. Uh, I'll get Jennifer yeah. Coolidge. Jawbreaker. What else? Oh man, she's been in so many things. Arrested Development. She she's incredible. Defined a character alone in that whole show. Um, she was Michael's girlfriend, right? No, no, she was uh, the the company secretary who was begging his dad. Oh, that's right. I think Coolidge going from Jerry Seinfeld's girlfriend on Seinfeld, yeah, to winning an Emmy for White Lotus. Judy Greer's had to have won something. Check it out, Michael. A Ashley. Golden Globe or something. Uh, Sorry, no. Coolidge has two primetime Emmys. She got Emmys. two primetime Emmys. Two Emmys. Emmys. But I'm not gonna th- hang on here. So Jen, J- back to back Judy's, years. Judy's done the wedding planner. I remember Judy and what women want. I remember Judy in Tomorrowland. Judy in oh she Halloween. Was th- she was in yeah that's right. She's uh, the daughter. Cool. She has uh, Emmys, Golden Globe. She's in Three Kings as well with uh, George Clooney. Marmaduke. I mean, she, not that anybody saw it. Entourage. Yeah, she was great in Entourage. She was really good in Entourage. I mean, okay, I feel in comparison. Coolidge won everything last year. Okay, yeah, all right. Literally everything. What did Greer win? Did you see what Greer has won? She's had to have won Golden Globes or something. Oh, fine. She does musicals, too. Like, Judy Greer does, like... Coolidge can... Maybe... It's Stifler's mom. I could say that... Versus Judy Greer. Judy Greer. So she's got a Behind the Voice Award. Does not Online Film and Television Association Award. A New Mexico Film Critics Association Award. Damn, no Golden Globe, nothing. Nothing, eh? no Emmy, no nomination. No Emmys. Calm no. down there, Jimmy. Not getting, yeah, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Not one. for Kitty? Not okay. one. All right, all right, but hang on. Okay, Coolidge. Coolidge. I'm just kidding. I could Coolidge. say that Coolidge is too big now to be in this category. You could, but I feel that yeah. Coolidge <laughs> yeah. has... Coolidge, we love. We don't say we don't love Coolidge. We're Everybody on a high with her right now. Everybody loves her. Yeah, but we're into we her. love She's her right for a few things. Stifler's mom. Stifler's mom. Got it going White on. White Lotus. White Lotus. Yeah. TJ Hooker and... Um, Seinfeld? No. Seinfeld Night at the sure, Roxbury. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Seinfeld, she was Jerry's but girlfriend. Every woman, yeah. who, the every woman who ever played on Seinfeld was a character actor for one episode, right? Because they were Jerry's girlfriend. Courtney Cox. Right? Everybody's played Jerry's Jerry girlfriend. Hatcher, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's going to be a fun trivia night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, I just feel that Judy Greer She's is... In Cinderella story. Judy Greer's Shotgun v- Wedding. Okay, you know what did it for Judy Greer? For, like, that in Halloween when she's like... Michael, no! And then she's like, "Gotcha!" and shoots him. Remember yeah, yeah, the yeah. mom taught him. Let's see uh, Stifler's mom do something like that. Stifler's mom. <laughs> I bet she bends could. and snaps. No, she couldn't even jump on the boat. Stifler's mom is amazing <laughs> in White Lotus. There's Why nothing. You say that. <laughs> she was in I'm, Legally Blonde. She was in The she Watcher was, in 2022. Oh, Jennifer Coolidge's uh, cameo in Friends. I feel like the perfect arse. <laughs> she Jennifer Coolidge, have, she's, she's going to be in the movie. Minecraft I movie. I feel like the perfect don't, arse. Don't you dare bring up the Minecraft She's going to be in the Minecraft movie. The she was AI, in Click. The AI movie. She was in Night at the Roxbury. Yeah, that's uh, her cameo. In Night at the, she's the cop she's that pulls the She's done voice acting. Like, she's just everywhere. And just Do you because, remember Jennifer Coolidge in uh, Night at the Roxbury? I remember Jen- She's the cop that pulls them over. Oh, yeah. And he's like... Uh, thank you for protecting and serving me. And he calls it TJ Hooker, and she loves him. At the end, they hook up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do this because I value my life. I'm going to stick with Coolidge. Okay. Even though oh, I. You cool Ranch. Cool, cool. Jennifer Cool Ranch. It's, it's, uh, I got, yeah, it's cool dumb. porridge. I'm going Greer. I'm going Greer. I'm, I'm going gonna, Coolidge. Like, I don't damn. think there's any question to this. Damn. I love you, too. <laughs> you did your, you tried, Actually, man. You if you're did still your best. in Winnipeg, we'd love to have you on the show. And discuss why you're better Hold than on, Jennifer Coolidge. Hold on, you click the right one, please, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into the quarterfinals here. With, you know, uh, Stifler's mom's never been a winner. We got two more arguments here. So, Cliff, Clint, Howard? 
Clint. Clint Howard. They Cliff? sound familiar. I, that's a spe- that's a typo. Clint is the one we're talking about. That's the like the one from The Water Boy and every other. Oh, Ron yeah. Howard's Ron ugly Howard's brother. ugly brother. What a pretty man. Yeah, he's in Arrested Development too. Right. Yeah. Those, well, of course he is. Yeah. Those, plays, those, the guy will leave the tree. Those teeth can be in two movies at the same time. I think Richard Kind is literally kind? the exact definition of a character actor because you see that man oh, in everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you're like, who the fuck is I that? I did guy? love him in Spin City though. He's I did love him in Spin City. He's so impossible. Yeah, funny. in Curb Your Enthusiasm, he plays Larry's uh cousin. Yeah. And fuck their dynamic is there was so an funny interview with him this week. Richard that Kind's incredible. He takes ninety three percent of the roles he's offered. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. nobody who says yes more than Richard Kind. He also was uh, And I think that's why, to his to his credit. It's like I'll be a working actor. I'll be that guy. I'll do this. I'll do five shows and oh, be those characters. Three He's, of the people we picked here have been in The Watcher. That's so funny. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> He's a voice in A Bug's Life. He's uh, yep. he's uh, James Woods's like brother or whatever. Yeah, yeah he's, he's always getting bullied. One. Yeah, he's the one he that's was, always getting bullied. By there was James a, Woods. there was an HBO or Kevin Spacey. Yep. Kevin Spacey. That's it. Was. There was an HBO Ooh. show about horse racing. He played like a washed up uh, rider agent. And he would just be like oh. hanging around the park, like yeah, tr- yeah, yeah, like screwing over other riders. Like, yeah. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. He, really he, he really can is. be dramatic. Yep. Like to your yeah. argument, if yeah. you want, if you want someone who's dramatic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, he's in only murders in the building, <laughs> which makes sense. That's funny. <laughs> well, people just love having well, him. Him and Martin things. Short have a have a history together. I'm now sure. let's talk. And he about does voice acting. He's all. Yeah. Over, he's in Big Mouth. He's done American Dad. Oh yeah, he's great in Big Mouth. He's hilarious. Dude, he has the sh- he's the he has the shrimps and he's like the scallops. Yeah, he's his dad. Him. He's Andrew's dad. Yeah, he's Andrew's dad. <laughs> to the point, of course. Turn the light off. Clint Howard was in Solo. Clint Howard was in Austin Powers. And Austin Powers. Was and he, the water boy. Was he solo? And Austin Powers. Clint Howard's a brother Nepo baby. <laughs> he is a brother <laughs> Nepo baby. He's a sibling Nepo. And maybe. Okay, <laughs> hang on here. But that's how he got those roles. He's a Nepo brother. Which might. <laughs> Nepo bro. No, you're right. Hang on here. Nepo there's, there's a point in here somewhere. He was if the ice cream man. I feel that giving away the character role to your brother doesn't make you a character actor. It just puts you in the position to be a character actor where Richard Kind has the skills to be a character He's actor. He's it. Well, and Ron, Ron tried, he started as an actor thinking he'd be a character actor and that, what, he had the yeah, 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 yeah. show and that's it? Yeah. And Happy Days, I think, yeah. and that was fucking it. I'll be, and then, I'll, well, I mean, all kid actors are just kids. Like, they But he have, wasn't the Fonz. He was, he was not. <laughs> was a jump in the shark. No, I'll go Richard Kind. I'll Richard. go Richard. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. Richard Kind. He's the shit. He's the shit. Martin's going to be so mad. Have you, have you, have you, have you, oh, he's so funny. He's just so funny. And Curb, he's just such a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. And he is. And he starts so much shit, and then he never takes accountability, and Larry <laughs> fucking goes crazy. Last round, Every gentlemen. Time. Let's head into the quarterfinals with Bobcat Goldthwait and Luis Guzman. Who the fuck is Bobcat? Pardon me. I know, but who's that guy in the world? We still phone. have to Bring do the phone. Yeah, I know. We still have to do the Carol Lynch one too. <laughs> Oh, uh, my God. This Why'd is you do 16? Yeah. I told you at the beginning this of this. This isn't a real league. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need real league l- rules, man. So who are we on right now? Can we kill off? Can we kill off one? We're on Bobcat versus Luis Guzman. Well, I mean, Luis Guzman in waiting is just the ultimate role. Oh, yeah. He's the creepy He's the chef cook, who right? fucks yeah. in yeah. the back Who shows room. everyone the bat wing on his oh, nuts. Oh, that's right. How about Boogie Nights? Like, yep. yep. Louis Guzman's hilarious. He's dude. also, uh, what is his face? Um, Adam's the, family. Adam's family. Yep. Yeah. He's Gomez. I, I. He's the perfect Gomez. He is very much. The yeah, he's funny. Gomez. I like him. I wasn't. I was kind of like, huh, at first, but now I'm like, okay. I like him I a lot. It. Sorry, what's his name? Bobcat. What? Bobcat, Bobcat Go- Goldthwait. He's a comic. <laughs> That was part of his. Oh, Hercules! Yes. Oh, Hercules! Every last drop. Yeah, the little yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Uh, Hades. Uh, yeah, yeah, the fucking minions. Yeah, yeah, the minions. He was really famous in the '90s for that. Hey, that was his bag. Yeah, that but was. But like, his whole who's thing. who's bringing on Bobcat now? Well, what has Bobcat done in like the last twenty years? Yeah, I would really like to say that Luis Gil- Gu- Guzman still very much works. I would go yeah. Luis Guzman just because, like, don't get me wrong, this guy stood out, but he was like. What's his face? Like Carrot Top. Yeah. Like well, he, he was. He had at his a very time. specific time. You but know, what has he really done? But Louis Good Generation. Yeah, I he think keeps doing it. In one of my favorite Louis Guzman uh, roles is in Anger Management. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pretty sure he's just like what? He's the super. He's got the mesh shirt on. <laughs> he's a really. He's like a really angry gay landlord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bob, he's all his tenants. Yeah, I'm pretty so sure that Martin watched all of the Police Academy movies this week. Is Bobcat in them too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it makes <laughs> he sense. Just watched Police it makes Academy. sense. 
Because I'm like, why are you picking two of the main characters yeah, from I Police just, Academy? I will always remember him from uh, Hercules. He was yeah. in Grind. You guys remember the Grind skateboarding movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good right? He's, oh, the, yeah. he's the guy who like farts his armpit and oh, yeah. runs the hotel. <laughs> good movie. That's so funny. That was, that was like, a really good movie. Hot Every to, last drop. That's I mean, he had, he had his movies. He had Hot to Trot. He had- <laughs> But like all in the 90s, right? 80s. Try Everything 80s, 80s, 80s yeah, 90s, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, that's yeah, what I mean. Very much. Very much. Yeah. He was a stand-up comedian before he was an actor, too. Like, I mean, that makes but, sense. Okay, I, Luis Guzman is a character actor. He's yeah. the guy. Bobcat Goldthwait played characters because of being a comedian. And people yeah, know yeah, who yeah. Bobcat Goldthwait is. They do. They did then, at yeah, least. I don't, maybe He's like an Andrew now, Dice Clay of the of the yeah. era, right? But hey, Andy Andy made a comeback a little bit in the last uh, ten true. years. <laughs> yeah, well, is, it is which was unexpected. Time. His was audience unexpected. is very there. Okay, listener, we're almost out of the we're almost That's out funny. of the fucking round one here. Icarita, so Icarita. these are my two final picks. We've got John Carroll Lynch. And Melissa Leo. John Carroll Lynch sounds very, like, familiar. Bring it up on your phone. You'll know. Melissa I, Leo, is she not an Oscar winner? She's an Oscar winner. That doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. That's... Jimmy said we weren't using no, that no, program. No, no, no. But which Melissa Oscar? Melissa Leo doesn't count. She, best Supporting, actually. She did not win a lead. Oh, okay. Then she's in. I think she won Best Supporting for her role oh, in Oh, and fighter. John Carroll Lynch in oh. Zodiac, the founder. Right. Thank but Melissa you. Leo's been, she blew up, like, when she won that Oscar. Well, she got bigger as a character actor. <laughs> she didn't like. <laughs> blow, Has she blow received up. receipt like uh, starring roles since? She uh, got a oh Hollywood yeah, star. yeah, yeah. She was in. Uh, she has a Hollywood star. She's uh, an equalizer. Know, she's know, an equalizer one and two. She plays. Uh, yeah, his, his fucking contact. His contact. Yeah. Uh, but back to John Carroll Lynch for a minute here. And he equalizer was, three, sir. John Carroll Lynch was the guard in. Uh, uh, t- uh, what the fuck? The Martin Scorsese movie, uh, Shutter Island. He was in Fargo. He was in Fargo. He was. He was. The oh, husband? Drew Carey's brother on the Drew Carey show. Thank you. Oh, the one, yeah. The cross he was, yeah, the cross dresser. He was hilarious. Yeah. Um, I'll always know him as Drew's brother on the Drew Carey show. He also shot he Fargo. Channel Zero here. He did a whole season of Channel oh, Zero. Oh, yeah. Channel Zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've seen that episode. Oh, and he's the, he's zo- creepy. He's the Zodiac killer. He's the yeah. Zodiac yeah. killer. Yeah, like gets away, but he's the Zodiac. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, he's. he's he was good. He's good. He's. Oh yeah, he's, he's in very prisoners. background. He's really good, and uh, he's the hairstylist in Gran Torino. He's the yeah. guy who shoots the shit with Clint Eastwood. Yeah, dude, is. Melissa Leo's the villain in Prisoners as well, too. Hang on here. <laughs> oh, she is. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, she's that's also right. the uh, Secretary of Defense in uh, all the fucking Olympus movies. She's uh, she's the head of uh, the F uh, the FAA in uh, flight. Yeah, she's the one grilling yeah, Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is. She's great. She is great. She's and, great. But she's. She seems she to play the same me, role. She, though. she 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 plays a harder, a little bit of a bitch. character, a little bit of a bitch, a little, a little bit of a bitch. Somebody who's stern. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. let's go back. Let's go. That's back a to tough one, man. Role. Honestly, you can kind of go either way, but I'm going John Carroll Lynch personally. <sighs> I think I'll go. I think Drew, she's too Drew good. Carey, yeah, Drew Carey's brother never wanted. I was Oscar, hoping so. it would all happen because John Carroll Lynch to me is like he's a compliment to everything that he does. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like you yeah. see him in there, you're like, oh, this. Guy's he's good. great he's in Fargo. This, he's so subtle. He's picked my stamp. Yeah. They picked my stamp by the way. Oh darn. <laughs> yeah, they picked, my stamp. they picked your stamp, little baby. But he, like the sixth <laughs> man, right? Like the sports analogy. The sixth yeah. man, right? Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. perfect way to put this. Yeah. You, you. Well just done, Michael, with a sports reference. I threw it in there. Look at him go. Right. What's your Simpsons reference? Come on, bud. <laughs> Shut up. No, <laughs> yeah, you, just, you picked the wrong dude, one you again. Picked the wrong one again. And He's going for Oscars. The check means good. <laughs> <laughs> so how many teams? I didn't get a lot of those. In, in, in how high many teams school? do we have left? Twelve. We have. He had a lot of teams. We have eight teams left. We've we've done one round. Okay, listener, oh, if you're boy. still there, thanks for hanging around. This one's going to go a lot faster. Yeah. So, so uh, first round for this one is Tim Blake Nelson versus Man, Richard Kind. An now impossible it's task, Jim, right? A, truly an impossible task. Oh, I'm going to say Richard Kind. I think it's got to be Richard Kind. He's not in the MCU yet. So. No, Tim Blake's <laughs> Tim Blake's definitely taken off a lot more. I still don't think people know his name when they see it. They're going I, to after this yeah, movie. Yeah, maybe you're right. They know him. <laughs> they know him as the guy who turned into the frog. Richard Kind is universally beloved. In, he is. He yeah. was the guy who turned into the frog in Oh Brother Where Art Thou, yes. right? Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I yeah. know him. Yeah, right? yeah. like I yeah. mean, that's where I met him. That was like an set. underdog movie, basically. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Even with George Clooney, it was an underdog movie. Yeah. Like. So yeah. no no disrespect to Tim Blake. I just I think Richard Kind fits this perfectly. Yeah. He this yeah. is uh, as Tim mentioned. Blake's having his summer basically. He's exactly. going to have yeah. his, He's going to have his hot girl summer, summer coming up. Yeah. 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 Tim so, Blake so. Brat Summer. Yeah, I was just going to say Brat Summer. <laughs> Tim Brat Nelson. Tim Brat Nelson. <laughs> there you go. Oh fuck, that's great. Topical. Yeah, I I mean <laughs> I see Tim Blake Nelson's name more above the line. 
yeah. Richard Kind who always fits are like, that mold. Fits that mold. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's give him, his give, career. Give Richard Kind his starring role. Hey, I'll watch that fucking movie. Oh yeah. Whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, I used to love him in Spin City. He's Whenever great. He would show up. He was great. Oh, he's great in yeah. everything. All right, yeah. so the cool porridge, Jennifer versus John Carroll Lynch. That's interesting. I think one is does, very... Does Mrs. Coolidge deserve to now... I mean, uh, still... Because if we're going off of star power... Then, right? Yeah. She like, beat Greer, man. I'm going Stifler's mom for this one. You, 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 I can see your heart on. Like, calm the fuck down. You like, picked these. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. But, like, I... Say what you got to say. I love her. I don't want any of you to come from my head. I love her, but I also see her as one note where you've seen John Carroll Lynch dress up in drag and wear more makeup than Mimi on the Drew Carey he's, show. Yeah, he's a serial killer. He's, serial. Yeah, he, but how many Emmys does he have? None. Not probably any. <laughs> None. But she swept everything that year. She by did. The last two years. Twenty twenty three. She, she took in the Golden Globe, last the Emmy, um, MTV Award. She took it all. What? Who's the guy who writes Mike? Uh, who writes White the, Lotus? White Lotus. Oh, it's the School of Rock guy. The the school guy. Of Mike Rock. White. Mike White. Yeah. Mike yeah, White. yeah. He really knows how to utilize it's her. The school yeah. Of- but if you took <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge, right? And yeah. You, you tried to use her somewhere wow. else. Let's argue from the public's perspective. Yeah. We've seen her do so many one note things. That but like, she's dramatic in that role. She's funny she, in that role. She, she is. is. When she has her not, breakdowns yeah. in the role, it's pretty... Oh, when she it's falls sad. off the boat? Yeah. Like the whole, you feel for her. Yeah. You do. You it's do. not funny. No. no. She, you're sad that she's gone. Well, and I mean... And Emmys don't get for funny. Thank you. That's true. <laughs> in, well, in, that, well uh, unless you're the bear. I was just going to say. <laughs> oh, the bear, right. I beat him to right, it. Right, right, right. Thank you. That's right. Because <laughs> Shogun wasn't funny at all. No. No, no clean house, but it <laughs> no, wasn't yeah, The bear's yeah, yeah. lucky they weren't up against Shogun. He's absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> no. That's what he said, right? Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. It's like, thank God. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. <sighs> I mean, I, I can say- can go either way, man. I say John Carroll Lynch. Okay, you said Coolidge, so this comes down to yeah, me, Yeah, I'm going to his mom. I think John Carroll Lynch- is less in the fits the mold than Richard Kind is. I think Richard sure. Kind is the I can perfect example. Yeah, yeah. So I think just based off the accolades that she deserves as a character actress, even in if you're just going to take White Lotus away, I think she's Stifler's too, mom. Too important. She's still called Stifler's she's mom. She's just man. too important to the cultural phenomenon. Yeah. If she had three names, would you vote for her? <laughs> But even with White Lotus, she's still referred to as Stifler's she does. mom. She's, she's Jennifer still, Cool and she, Ridge. She even said that she has fucked so many people just because of because that. of Stifler's mom. That's legendary. Because they're like, I want to bang Stifler's mom, and she's like, Okay, okay, it's not real, but sure. Yeah. Okay, now you, I'm you okay I'm with she, her. Now I'm okay with her <laughs> she getting. She plays a character. Yeah. <laughs> I'd bang Stifler's she's mom. She's kayfabe. Mil- she was part of she's how Milfus. Yeah. yeah. She was she, the reason right. MILF started. Too much of a cultural there is a impact. Yeah. Whole the MILF genre of porn that she is yeah. responsible for. That's incredible. For. And that's a big all, deal. She was considered the original MILF. hot mom, man. That's it. You wouldn't well, have Stacy's so mom was, without. You know, I think no, that's leave it to Beaver. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, <laughs> but moms were not made because be everyone hot. wanted to bang Mrs. Beaver, Miss Cleaver. Oh, want to put my Cleaver in the Beaver? That's right. That's not, bad. That's not bad. What do we got? Uh, we got <laughs> Luis Guzman versus Margo Martindale. Another another two Jimmy Jesus. Pick, right? Oh, Jesus. Like that's I, a, that to me is more tough than Carol versus Coolidge. Because I didn't even talk about Margo's accolades, which there are lots <laughs> of. I mean, she did. Wasn't she? Luis is kind of playing She himself. was Dewey Cox's mom. She was Dewey. That's right. <laughs> Listen, man, she's done everything. Like, she's been Wasn't she on Malcolm in the Middle, too? Probably. You could no. just say that and people will believe you. You're thinking the mom for Malcolm in the Middle. That's Jane Kras- Nope, that's Jane Krasinski. I- no, that's not Jane Krasinski. That's all Dirty I, Rock. Yeah. All I know <laughs> was that in real life she was married to the dude from Billy Madison and West Wing. Neat. Who was? Uh, the real, <laughs> the actress that plays Malcolm's mom. In real life, yes. was married to Jean the Crab. weasel from Billy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They Westward, were married. Yeah, Jane Kaczmarek. Yeah, yeah. Jane Kaczmarek is the mom. From. Is the mom? Yeah, they were married in real life, and I always thought they were really funny. Like, who are you pulling together. up, Mike? I'm, I'm looking. Have? I got Martindale here. Okay, I mean, I'll go we've got well. Orphan. We've got. I'm going Louise. I remember man. her time on Hannah Montana too. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why. <laughs> why? I, do. I don't yeah. know why. That show was too old. You for were you. a fully a grown man. He was a really big Miley Cyrus. This is supposed to be a safe space. Stop no, it me. isn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of those guys that was like, she's going to be 18 soon. And you're like, Mike, it's still not okay. It's still not okay. Marvin's yeah. Room. I don't know. That's the big one for Martindale. Marvin's Room? What about Bojack? 
uh, okay, for you, yes. <laughs> that's where she became character actress Margot Martindale. Right. But Marvin's, is that what she's Marvin's room yeah, with Leonardo great. DiCaprio and Diane Keaton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like that. And then, I mean, also the Hey, lock. Luis Guzman, man. Boogie Nights, Oscar, Oscar winning movie. August Osage County, That's true. though. Like, it's not an Oscar whenever movie. You him. Need a, whenever you need them, whenever you need. He made the Oscar win. Whenever you need a matriarch, whenever you need somebody who's motherly but not overbearing, whenever you need a strong woman to take the lead, Martindale's there to do it. Right? Punch drunk. Whenever woman. you need a funny or scary Latino. You got Luis Guzman, but he's got more rapey vibes than Martindale does. I don't know. Right? In, wait, in waiting, s- he's gross. He's, he's, but in Boogie <laughs> Nights, he's funny and shy. He's in lots, and of which stuff. is, which is, <laughs> I mean, that's the last place you can be shy. Right. Is a point set. And he then, is certainly a character actor, but I think the character is a little more one note. So I, I think we have to go. Mo- well, I gotta go. Hang on, let me. I just, can't speak for you guys. I don't know, man. Look up his role again. Look up his scene in Anger Management and tell me that's he, not no. He's hilarious. <laughs> he is very funny. Yeah. No, I see what you're saying though. And I believe sure. the role that he is playing, like uh, even in his, waiting, even I 100 percent believe kind of... that that is exactly how every chef behaves. Yeah. No. Totally. Especially <laughs> in that level of like, yeah, like a I was a chef, and that's what I aspired. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. You showed a lot of people your balls. I have anytime what you, you call shorts, it the bat wing. I am telling yeah. you, the bat wing dude. I have done, well, he has different styles. I've, yeah, right. From I have behind, done, you can stretch it from behind. I have done the goat's tail. Uh huh. I've done the bat wing. I've done the brain. You've I've, done the wear shorts because it's summer and show all of us your nuts on the show. Well, that was an well, accident. That's, that's These other times, it's not an accident if you do it fifteen times. That's Michael. called the scary movie. It's an accident if you look. <laughs> Fool me fourteen times, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me fifteen times, I'm just looking. That's you know. Do you know how many times I've seen waiting? Like I can. It's a perfect movie. It is. It is a. It is yeah, a it's a movie. really, it's a really, and what's funny is like obviously, it's if just you've accurate. worked in that industry, you it, it holds a special place in your heart because it's very. But even if you don't, that's why it's, it's such a cult so classic. Count yeah. of Monte Cristo Who? for Luis Guzman. Yeah, man. Yeah, he was. He was his little he bitch. Was the count. He, he was, was the count. He wasn't the. You know, he was. He was the <laughs> count's little bitch. He was the guy. He was yeah, the yeah, pirate. Yeah. You came Dude, to rescue Luis him? is. I'm telling you, he's everywhere and anywhere you want to see. Don't him. you dare let Margot Martindale fucking punch drunk love ball. traffic. Punch One drunk of the love. DEA he was. Oh yeah. and, and traffic. traffic. He was great in punch drunk love. He was so good in too. Oh my god. Not the same note. I don't know Not if the I. Same I note. don't. Th- I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know if I can pick Margot Martindale. Like, I'm telling you, man. Just because she says she's character actor, the adventures of Pluto Nash. Oh, come on, Pluto Nash. You're disgusting. Uh, He's even remake, in Still Waiting. Uh, he was in the sequel. They brought him was. back. Yeah, they brought was. him back the for a reason. straight to video sequel does not count towards his credit. Hey, man. Hey, then you're eliminating. A paycheck is a paycheck is a paycheck. Kirk man. Fox was also in that, too. Stop Margo shit. wouldn't say no to a sequel. We didn't even pick Kirk Fox. <laughs> Kirk Fox lost. I'm just using him as leverage for Luis. Oh, the taking of film one, two, three. He's good in that too. What isn't he? One of the like he's he's working with Travolta. Yeah, one of the guys helping him take the the trade. Uh, I go Luis. You're a piece of shit. (laughs) Put him through then. Luis. You go Luis. All right. Sorry. Is he the only one of mine that's alive right now? I think so. Luis Guzman is mine. Now we've got right. He (laughs) could have been mine. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. He was my what if. That so, was me against me. So all mine are dead. Yeah, oh, I think fuck. you're out. All mine are, all mine are dead. Oh, my God. So you we, didn't pick Manzoukas? That's a Martin. No, pick. you're in. You're in. You, oh, you, yeah, I did. You picked Jennifer. You picked Jennifer. Yeah, you picked Jennifer. You picked Jennifer. I did, yeah. That's She's right. in the quarter. She's in the semifinal. All right. Michael Stifler's is mom. completely eliminated. I'm not completely no, eliminated. No, you got Steven Root. I got Steven Root oh, against Jason Manzoukas. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. When you look at us. That's mean. When you look at. Two very funny men. Hang on. Two very, very funny men. This? A st- yeah, the stapler. This is a swing line stapler. This isn't just any stapler. But it ain't red. This is a swing line stapler right here. But it okay? ain't red, Michael. I know it's not red. But it is. I know it's not When red. you look at I've this, I've been trying though, to paint it. When you, <laughs> when you look at this inanimate bullshit piece of office wear, you eme- when I tell you to think of a movie, what do you think of? Office space. All right. Look at an inanimate piece of bullshit. And what do you think of when you think of Jason Manzik- Manzoukas? Beard. Greek people. Hair. Right? But Pimento. none of these are... But when I say think of a stapler, <laughs> you think of office space. Yeah. That is transcending the screen as a small role, as a guy who wants no salt on his margarita. They put him in the hasn't basement. Been paid forever. He just wants this paycheck. Keeps coming to work. And I, I ask for no salt. Through the fire. The salt. I'm going to burn this pizza. And then he does? And yeah, the, and and but I didn't get any cake. Last You're time. right. It's good I cultural went, went impact, <laughs> and it's as much as it's nice to see Manzukis and things. It is. It's just not the same. And I feel that he's got a really good future 
to get there because he's done more voice work. He is more improv. He has a podcast. He has a pod. <laughs> Don't we you all? Do you listen to it? It's Don't great. We it's how did this get podcast? made? It's, it's so phenomenal. good. It's phenomenal. Oh, with Paul Shear. With Paul yeah. Shear. Yeah. It's phenomenal. It's so good. It's absolutely yeah, they're hilarious. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they pick the best. They, when they do it live, yeah. too. The way, yeah. the way they shit yeah. on stuff yeah. is fantastic. Because so they, know, they know it inside out. That's why yeah. it's so good. They know how it got made. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do we... Like, I want to go Stephen Root, just cultural impact. I, okay. Stephen Root makes sense, especially with the cultural impact. That's what we got with Stifler's mom. Sto- so. As Martin would say... Vote with integrity. Yeah. <laughs> Did you forget what Martin says when you tried to do that? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, I'll go Stephen Root. And scene. Thank you. I mean, I don't know if we can be a show if we don't pick the red stapler guy from Office Space. Oh, conference finals. Conference finals. <laughs> My God. NBA Final four. Final. Kind v. Coolidge. Kind v. Coolidge. Guzman v. Root. What do we want to do first? Shit, man. Let's Ooh. just let's do kind and Coolidge. I like it. I like it. I, I mean. Hardest working character actor in Richard the business. Richard Kind, I think, fits that definition that we started with. Richard Kind. I'm going to ask definition. you to say something different this round. <laughs> Richard Kind fits the definition that we started with of who is that? I've seen why him are we in a here? lot of things. Why are we here kind of thing? Yeah. Like this, the, okay. He is literally why we're here. I think Jennifer Coolidge has reached the peak of what a character actor can be. So it's, for me, honestly, you mean she, to go her, either her way. character actor-ness is, is... Well, she's not that anymore. That's true. She's I, just not that. In, she's just actor Jennifer Coolidge. I think ultimately what you want to amount to with the character actors to do at least a character so good that even until the day you die, people just call you that. Does kind? Have I just that. argued that with Root, right? I get that's what you're true. Saying. Like, so does, so what does Richard is Kind have that? Kind, I don't know of like hot dog guy or blah blah blah. You're right. Like Stifler's mom, man. Like Stifler's mom. I shouldn't have used that point because it's. Totally and then White Lotus. To bite me in the ass. That's what I mean. Like those that's two things mean. are just so dominating. Yeah. Well, and she got brought back for season two of White. Lotus I know. That's how good of, she was. Yeah. So you bring back and and, w- and they didn't and it wasn't a gimmick how they brought her back. It no. was a great fucking She's story. Just traveling line. the White Lotus. Yeah. The White Lotus with Uncle would, Rico yeah. and Uncle Rico's a dirtbag. I love Uncle Rico. Yeah. It was crazy. It took me so long to realize. Me that too. Uncle Rico. So he's watching it. She's got in the background. He's like, fucking bald in real life. I, I realize. I look at Napoleon. I'm like, right. He's wearing a he wig. even adjusts the wig at he one point. He was vegan, too, in that. I, so yeah. every time he eats a That's steak, funny. you can he's see actually him spitting like, it out. Ugh. And he's, like, angry about yeah. it. Yeah. He was pissed. He's really vegan? Yeah, yeah. he was really vegan. And yeah. then they'd make him take bites of the steak, just like Speak No Evil. That's why he has really <laughs> hard bites. Like, his bites are really, like... Because he's just trying to... He's just chewing. And then he's you, not you swallowing. can actually see him spit it out into a napkin each time. Yeah, yeah. Character actor. I lo- I saw him in White Lotus. <laughs> Why isn't he on this? Yeah. No, I saw him in White Lotus and immediately wanted to buy Tupperware. <laughs> but it, I, it, he you was can run it over with your van. He yeah. was one of those. I'm telling you, it was like four episodes in that I was like, Uncle Rico. The whole time yep. it was driving me nuts. Who is that? I'm like, I know this. He's guy. in something else recently too that I can't remember. But yeah, I'm saying Richard Stifler's Kine, but He's not who we're on. I'm saying Stifler's mom. Because you brought up. I agree. Stapler guy, office space guy. But do we want someone who is? But that's the definitive character moment. Do we want someone who is getting... That's the peak of it. Like the guy who played Spike on Buffy. I don't know anything else he's done, but he's Spike. He's Spike on Buffy. Spike on Buffy. And Angel. And he still goes to Comic-Cons and he's Spike. But to to Jimmy's point... Piccolo in the live action. Insane. I gotta... gotta, I'm sorry. I gotta sit by this. Richard Kind is a character actor. Jennifer Coolidge has parlayed a character into a lot of different things. A lot of usable things. But up until White Lotus, I really do think a lot of people did not know her name. Oh, I loved her episode of Friends. Oh, I loved when she showed up in this. Oh, Stifler's mom. Yeah. Even White uh, Lotus was like, it stars Stifler's mom. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm oh my saying, God. You'd I, say Jennifer Coolidge, people yeah. would be like, who? Who? Stifler's mom. I'm oh, so, what? Jeez. Oh, but if you still say Richard Kind, they're like, huh? I Even s- if I say Spin City, you're still not like, I slipped oh, off yeah. the boat and cracked my skull and now I'm dead. <laughs> That's good. Good. That Thanks. Is, that's I've really been good. trying. That's yeah, it's pretty good. good. That is really good. Thank you. So she is in season three. <laughs> I'm pretty I fu- proud. I fucking knew she'd be in season three. That's so what happens. trying to get guys, me to do that guys, publicly, and I you just should. Can't. You guys have done it. She's going on, but I'm saying kind for the record. Okay. And Coolidge. Let it be known that the record is off. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got our way. So ultimately, it's Stapler versus Stifler's mom. Oh, my God. I think just based on recency, like, Barry was excellent. Yeah. But fuck, man, she swept the awards being I a character actor. That's I incredible. I think it's Stifler's but mom, I, man. But I want my red staple. I know you do, but that was fucking 13 years ago, Michael. 
And Stifler's mom might have been even more. I think Stifler's mom, mom is 23. But Stifler's mom. Like you said, it created MILF porn. It created <laughs> MILF porn. There's no staple porn. Even the porn. word MILF. There probably is. Like the OG MILF. Even if porn was doing it already, but when you OG MILF is fucking Stifler's mom. I, I just, I got to agree. Like, Guys, I, are we going to give best character actor to a woman who played a MILF and some really great roles? Or are we going to... Hey, after oh, Mrs. I hate after, that Richard Kind is not here. After the, <laughs> after the graduate, she's the next most famous MILF. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> like, man, it just comes down to the awards for me. Like, she's you know just what? It the makes, one. It's I, also we a are, generational thing. Like, Mer- MILF is such a gen- She's like, Neo. How are we here? Wow, that's a stretch. She's Neo. How are we here with one character with a stapler, another character with being a MILF? It's They're two of the most pivotal. Yeah. Roles. Because they did that being a character actor. You That's have created right. something so even, long lasting for everybody. Even when we they now, were in those movies at the time they came out, I don't think people knew their names. Agreed. So we're like we, I think it was 100% definitely percent agreed. That's why it became Stifler's mom. Because if it was like uh what is it? Um oh the one in the perfect couple. If it was Nicole Kidman, it would just be like it's crazy Nicole Kidman played Stifler's right, exactly. mom. Exactly. But she became Stifler's mom because she wasn't known it really. And she was acting a lot. She, she was in stuff. Lo- she was in she, she did a did lot of shit, man. She did a lot of stuff at that point. That's Coolidge for me. Sorry, my. Hey, man, I, news, I told you, News Radio is one of my all-time favorite shows. I love. I'm Steve just doing Rick. this because I'm in the final. Like I'm. I, you I, almost I, had I, yours. Like, I knew. I knew if we none of us picked the stapler guy, like somebody would just like you forgot that guy. Like that guy. Oh, there's so many. I mean, there's a ton if of it, great. If DDL was in this. <laughs> <laughs> he would come over here and kick your ass. I'm not a character actor. No, he definitely would not. In be the okay wrong with English accent. Fine, character. Jennifer fucking wins. Yeah, I Stifler's mom. I think that was the inevitable. Stifler's mom. And if it was, He's got it going. If on. Jason Biggs hadn't done more, it'd be Pie Fucker. It'd be Pie Fucker. Remember, I love that joke in Jay and Silent Bob. Hey, look, it's Pie Fucker. Hey, you're just you're known for a creek. I'm always Pie Fucker everywhere I go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Well, there you have it, listener. You have Stifler's Not to mention mom. she's in like four of those movies. She is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She is. It's yeah. not just the one. Like it's a re- she's, it's she a reoccurring ends up role. with Jim's dad yeah. in Reunion. That's perfect. That's right. That's yeah. a perfect ending for me. Yeah, that's it was. Right. It was yeah. good. The guy was trying nice. to explain sex. I really don't want to. Although it means who... Stifler and Jim are now stepbrothers. I mean, yeah, that's I can, which really is amazing. Fun. They're going to make another movie. Yeah, they have to. They have to. Stepbrothers too with Will Ferrell. And, and their kids Jim and their kids and Stifler and their kids. Dear God! Oh yeah. my God! No, I'd say what Jim and Stifler are got to be in close to fifty now. <laughs> I think yeah. so. I'm sorry, I'm a little butthurt over here. I really thought. Welcome to my world of brackets. I know, right? It, this it, is how it usually okay, goes for me. Future brackets start with ten teams. That's true. Or f- eight. eight. Yeah, yeah eight. eight. I think eight. eight. I think we're eight. just gonna have to leave eight. people out. This was great to get a lot in. Well, we can always do a part two. <laughs> Martin's going to learn what a character actor is. He's going to be so mad. He's going to be so mad. But you, you guys know, don't think Martin's going to like this, eh? No. no. <laughs> we didn't pick any of his. No, I he, know, but Bobcat? Yeah, he wasn't. I don't no. think he quite got he the idea. He watched Police Academy. Like he watched that's all I, that, all I know is that he watched Police Academy this week. We can guarantee oh, that. That's, that's great. That's but, great. listener, if you've got a say in matter and you want to let us know, leave a voicemail. Uh, who's your favorite character actor? Who's, your favorite who's someone you see actor? all the time and you're like, who the fuck is that? Who guy? would you rather? Yeah, who Stifler's did we miss? Bomber Stifler. <laughs> or, sorry, Stifler's mom or Stapler. That's what I meant. <laughs> who would you rather? Or stapler? Stifler's mom or a Stapler? Which <laughs> would you rather stick your dick in? Did we get it right? Uh, we, I, we probably didn't, but that's for you to decide, listener. <laughs> So hey, we didn't pick any DDLs or Robin Williams. So I think personally, right. I think we did a very good job on this one. I think we did. This too. is fun. I just want to say the real debaters at gmail.com for all of your submissions or leave a voicemail at the show notes. Click on the voicemail link. You get up to three minutes to voice your gripe, your opinion, your agreement, whatever you want to say. Uh, we have kept you long enough listeners. So thank you for tuning in to another uh, one of your favorite debates by your favorite local cinephiles. Uh, if you've got an idea, also send us that as well, too. Stay tuned. Subscribe to all of our shit. Subscribe to the show so that you don't miss us at Comic Con. You don't miss any nerdgasm stuff. You know to do comedy at the Handsome Daughter with Jimmy. Um, I've uh, I've I've been Michael. <laughs> uh, I'm someone should do a Jennifer Coolidge impression. <laughs> oh, jeez. Me and Uncle Rico are going to a Black Lives Matter meeting. <laughs> <laughs> but then I fell off the boat and died. <laughs> Watch all the movies, kids. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. I love you. I love you. Oh, 
if you have any problems, dial information. Thank you for calling.